All right, so we I had done a uh, little video on the the YouTube live. So if you didn't see that, here with Chris. Chris is a Fremont local who is diving into bolt action, and we are going to hopefully have many many videos. Uh, he was just giving me the look about how many videos he hasn't been able to watch because I haven't done any. <laughs> He's watching old stuff. And we were just going over a lot of the rules. So we're going to just kind of make this video. And if uh, rules questions come up, that's I think will help uh, players who are learning how to play uh, learn the rules, at, at least from the perspective of somebody who's played quite a few games like me. Mm -hmm. And whether they agree or disagree, that's what the comment section's for. But I'm going to take a German list. So I have ordered a bunch of German stuff uh, for Bug Eater. They are still not here. So it's starting to stress me out a little bit. I may have to modify my list because I want a fully painted army to take the Bug Eater. Uh, one, because you have to have one. And two, because uh, I just don't like half-assed painted stuff. Although these Germans are about the most half-assed painted stuff I have. I have <laughs> I have been upgrading them. I have been working on them. So I'm taking, we're running uh, basically 500 points here and uh, I'm running uh, a Volksgrenaders list, Chris. A Volksgrenaders, if you're not familiar with them, they're German inexperienced. Uh, they, are, they have a special rule called mixed quality. So if you're familiar with the green rule out, yes. of, the, out of the main rule book, uh, you roll a five or a six and you become regular. Mm -hmm. Uh, Volks Grenaders, uh, Volk, I, I'm saying it wrong, I'll probably get, Volks right. Grenadiers, <clears throat> I, I get so many comments from people, from especially from Europe, Volks Grenadiers, uh, if they successfully get a 5 or 6, they get another chance to roll a 5 or 6 and they become veterans. So they're basically a, a, a hodgepodge of old vets and young recruits. The odds of, of that actually happening is very low. The interesting rule about them, though, is that the main core of them are all assault rifles. So I've got five assault rifles in this squad right here, and I didn't upgrade and purchase any more. So I just have five assault rifles. They're inexperienced with mixed quality. I have a uh, six-man LMG team. The German special rule is Hitler's buzzsaw, so I get an extra shot for light machine gun. Mm -hmm. I uh, have another six-man regular squad uh, with a LMG. I have a regular lieutenant. He's just the second lieutenant, but the German special rule is they get an extra snap two. So instead of one, they get to do two snap twos. And they both have assault rifles. And then I have a light anti-tank gun. Uh, I didn't purchase the Stalin granite upgrade, so it's just a light anti-tank gun plus four. I have a Kubel wagon with an MMG. It's an armored car, not a transport. And then I have a truck at inexperienced. It can hold 12 people. And then I have a medium mortar. Uh, and I do have a spotter. I'll have to grab a model for that. So a medium mortar at regular. So that's my 500 points. I don't have a lot of anti-tank. I didn't put any Panzerfaust in my uh, list. I do have a light anti-tank gun though. So, and then Chris made a list. Why don't you uh, tell me your list, Chris? We're using a little bit of uh, proxies, but sure. You know, we have some Japanese over here, and they are going to be representing the Soviet-free, inexperienced squads. So they're good uh, meat yeah. shields right there. Yep, yeah. and they have anti-tank grenades, which is they are very powerful. <laughs> okay, so they are equipped with anti-tank yep. grenades. Yep, correct. Well, all right. And I running really a tank, regular. Soviet T-34-76. Uh, yes, so we, we have the model for the 85. Yeah. Uh, I know, I'm know i pretty sure we have a 76 model running around somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. Yeah. So, But it's a T-34-76, so okay. medium anti-tank gun, twin mm. MMGs. Uh, Chris did not put a flamethrower on it. <laughs> <laughs> at 500 points, that would be brutal. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, next, we have a six-man Soviet submachine gun squad. They are regular. Some of them you'll see with rifles, but then again, we're we're a little short on miniatures here with yes. that. So yes, and they're looking great, Chris. Oh, well, You're doing a good job. No, thank you. So uh, next, we have a regular medium machine gun team. All right, and 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 the, what's interesting about the Russian MMG teams is that for five points you have a gun shield. Right. Yeah, so MMG sure. team with a gun shield, I really really like that. <laughs> I I w if the Germans had that, I would buy that all day long. Mm -hmm. 
All right. And lastly, we have a... These guys were regulars, isn't that how you did them? Yes, yeah, the okay. MMG team? No, the... Uh, oh, no, I didn't talk about them, so... LMG squad. So, so you got a twin LMGs in the one squad, mm -hmm. and then we have a lieutenant with a helper, right? And they're all regulars. I can't remember the lieutenant. Did you make Regular, him? yeah. Okay, he's regular, regular as well. All right. So we're looking at about 500 points for both of us. Uh, we haven't rolled a scenario or anything, so, so we'll go ahead and uh, well, roll the scenario. Right, I'm about seven points less, so if I lose, that's probably you, the reason. So. You, that's probably it. You could upgrade somebody for that. That's what I do on Easy Army, and then I end up uh, somehow ordering an entire box of miniatures for uh, a seven. Like I'm like, oh, I'm gonna add a uh, whatever, and then end up buying a whole new thing. So we'll roll a scenario. We're gonna be playing, since we're only playing 500 points, we're only gonna be playing on a four by four board. So we're gonna be playing basically uh, to the edge of the order dice tray, uh, our order dice tray, the dice tray. And we could probably put a piece of tape. If it comes down to where we're, actually let's just play to the edge of this building. That way, and the field. That way we, we know where exactly where we're at. I don't think it'll come to a, a big deal, but that said, it'll probably come up. But uh, so this is basically Chris's first game. If you didn't watch the thing, and uh, we're gonna be kind of going through the rules. Uh, if some rules questions come up during, uh, we'll probably just let the camera roll because I'm sure there's other players out there that have uh, things come up in a game and they're wondering if it's correct or not. But we're gonna roll a scenario and then we'll be right back. All right, so we went ahead and rolled up our scenario. We rolled up uh, sectors. We're playing on a four by four table and I won the roll, uh, obligatory. I went ahead and chose this uh, side. We're playing the reserves can come in on the entire long board edge. Uh, so this is my zone. This is a neutral. That'll be your zone, Chris, and that'll be a neutral. One point for being in the neutrals, three points for being in the enemy deployment zone. So I had to put half I could put I could put up to half in reserves. I decided to put my Kubel wagon, the truck. There's a lieutenant in the truck and my uh, Volks Grenadier squad in the truck. So what I have on the board is an anti tank gun, mortar, uh, and two six man squads with a light machine gun. So now you need to choose what you're going to, if any. You don't have to put any in reserve. I'm not leaving anything in reserve. Okay, so because there is a prep bombardment, that's the only reason. Okay. He's going to... They're Russians. They're Russians. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and... So basically what you do is you put everything uh, that's not in reserve in the dice bag, and we draw out and randomly place them, which... So if I know correctly, I get one, two, three, four, five, six. So I, think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dice normally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my reserves don't go in the bag for right now. And I'll give you. Oh, how did I get out dice the Russians? I have eight and you have what, six? Because you have a tank. Oh. I have an inexperienced truck and a cool wagon that costs like almost nothing. So I'll, you'll be black and I'll be the white. Okay. And all they're doing right now is this isn't even start of turn one, it's just placing uh, your units within two by two. And it doesn't say anything about the center in this scenario. Well, they figure if it's. So we could actually start like, like face to face, really close to each other. All right, so black. So, so I would pick a unit to put on. Is yep, you go ahead and pick which unit you want to put in your deployment zone and okay. place it. Go ahead over. Let's go over terrain real quick, right. just to make sure there's no confusion. I play on some of the same terrain all the time. I'm used to it. Sure. Um, all right. So normally the these wheat fields, we count those as soft cover if you're more than uh, if you're inside it. Uh, it doesn't affect you if you're doing two inches, but you're still in it. Uh, doesn't block line of sight, it's not rough ground. These are normally play soft cover, but rough ground, so you can't run through it, you have to advance. Mm -hmm. We don't have to play them in the soft cover, they could just be rough ground patches if you want. 
fine. Whatever. Okay, soft cover, just like their cornfields or something. Uh, all the hard brick <coughs> walls are hard cover. Uh, if your majority of your models are behind it, uh, these little fences are obstacles, but usually just soft cover. Uh, just keeps you from running over them. Uh, same like there. Uh, the these are usually dense terrain, rough ground, soft cover. So if you're if I'm on this side of it and you're on that side of it, we can't see each other. But if I move into there, you can see me and I can be fired at. Uh, obviously, you have to be within two inches to not. So if I was here firing out, I'd still have it would still affect me unless I was towards the edge of it. Yeah. These like are are buildings with the building rules. These are just rough ground, hard covers. They're just kind of wrecked. This is actually a building. I don't know where the roof is. Mm -hmm. We'll play it as a building though. This one, I have a roof for it somewhere. Now you play it where the windows are. Correct. Kind of so you get to fire two guys out each uh, opening. So two guys out the door and two guys out the window. Okay. Uh, they're just dangerous for HE shots. Although you can go down and stuff to be a less chance to get. Okay, just a uh, question. So this is just soft cover? Soft cover. But, not, but not rough ground. But rough, yeah. Oh, These soft, are rough. rough. Okay. Yeah. And the rough ground again? Uh, you can't run. You can't run. Okay, but that's not the case with the weak Correct. Wheels. Okay. All right. All right, so you go ahead and place one of your units in your deployment zone. Hmm. Want to grab another one? Yeah. We'll start. Give me a chance to... Now this neutral territory... I'm assuming it's talking about opposites or ours. So this is a neutral zone. Mm -hmm. um, that'll be a neutral zone. So you get zone. points for going into either one. You got a unit in it at the end of the game. You get a point. Okay. All right. For each unit. So if you had three in there, I get three points. Okay. Well. Big money's getting in your enemy's deployment zone. That's three points. Yeah. All right. And it's also a point for each thing killed, so you don't want to get all yourself mangled trying to get there. So light cover. And this counts again as uh, an obstacle. An obstacle which is, does exactly what. Uh, well, in that particular instance, not much different than the rough ground. Oh. An obstacle, you can't run over it. Okay. And you, uh, yeah, you can't run over it. You have to do an advance, which is kind of. Moot because you're we're coming out of soft, rough ground soft cover anyway. All right, I think I'm gonna take my medium machine gun and plop him down about right there. Yeah, let's go about right there. Not bad, not a bad idea. They don't have. They do. Do these guys have the four? No, they don't they have the forty-five degree arc. They do. They? Yeah, they're not three sixty. Although you can turn and fire it at a minus one. Okay, I just didn't know if that that rule applied to these guys. Okay, so you got a pretty good, yeah. you got a pretty wide yeah. field of fire right there. Yeah. Okay. All right, next dice, me. I'll just put my mortar on board. I'm just gonna put him. You do have a spotter with him. I do. I need to grab a model for that this little fella. I think he can't. I think I got him as a gift gift box or, or like a door prize somewhere. I don't know what it is exactly. Look at he's got a box of some sort. So the spotter. And he counts actually as part of that team. Correct. So he's not a separate action. Not a separate uh, order dice or anything. Spotters always count as being down and small team. Okay so at them. how are you able to set him up there? Is that? Uh, they can, oh wait. Uh, I don't actually set him up yet. Uh, oh, spotters okay. deploy at the end of all regular deployment. So if you have a sniper and a spotter or scouts, mm -hmm. after all other deployment, then you go ahead and if you have one and I have one, we roll off to see who places oh, first. Got it. Alright. And in this scenario, in this scenario, it's not much, you're going to still have to be in your deployment zone, so it's not going to make a big deal difference. Uh, I think I'll just put him in this, 
So since I'm in it, I can see out of it. And I'll just start in there. Since our infantry team, they can move. So in other words, then you can see me. And you can, we can see each other. We can see each other in this case, so, all right. Black. Do we put the dice? We don't put it next to Yeah, I just put it next to it, that way we know it's... Yeah, it doesn't matter what's facing. It doesn't matter, okay. you know. We're gonna pick them all up and draw. Okay. Yeah, I took that Japanese list to Adepticon. We had a whole, half of my army was forward deployers. So the idea was, after everyone's deployed, I get to basically position half my army. Every scenario but one did not have any forward deployers, so it was kind of a moot point. Should have just left my Volkswagen mirrors on the board. Yeah, no one really to drive that truck very well. That your LMG squad? Yep, yeah, that's the LMG squad here. So I'm going with the tank. <laughs> right in the woods there? Yeah, I suppose on the edge. That goes from the center of the Yep, you're in hard you're in soft cover there. From oh. the trees, for sure. So if somebody shot at you. Is it soft or hard? Okay, soft, soft. cover, but dense. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me. Guess I'll. <laughs> Hope I get lucky. <laughs> well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I'll go right behind that. <clears throat> Now the bad part about rough ground, if you start an artillery piece in it, you can't move it for the rest of the game. So um, I'm gonna be. I thought you could if you took like a run. Not in rough ground, move. it's stuck. I could limber it into a truck or something, mm. but that's fine. I don't think I'll survive long enough to worry about moving. Oh jeez. I'm gonna take my. I probably should. Sure. I don't have a whole lot of places to go. My deployment zone is not very big. Well, I know it's <laughs> it's not all that uh, all that much here. So, um, this dude's going to be the NCO for them. It okay. Like so your type. SMG score? Um, yeah, actually. Yeah. So I'll put, I guess I'll put my LMG squad. <laughs> so my goal is to have my LMG up against that barricade and try to get the hard cover from shots back at me. Alright. Mm -hmm. Again, so I guess my last one, I guess my other LMG squad. Don't have a lot of great cover over here. So we'll just go in this wheat field, I guess. And I'm done. The rest of my stuff is off. Okay, so I've got two left. Press one more. Well, they're getting. Well, the. But a cover won't help you with a prep bombardment. Oh, don't you get the negative modifiers? No, it's it, basically you're going to take pins. If you would roll a six mm -hmm. on the prep bombardment, you'll take one hit at plus four, so it'd probably kill a guy. Okay. Now hidden, you you do get hidden. From all our guys are hidden if they start in a terrain piece. Okay, but then that applies to yeah, prep. Yeah, but you would be hidden, as long as you're, it's pretty liberal. I mean, it, as far as, like, for them shooting at you, I have to trace through cover. So until you move or fire, you'd be hidden from my guys. Okay, well, let's see. You know what the hell the, I got, they're, they're at where they're at, so. He's 
dudes are just uh, on the edge here. An experienced squad. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about them. Now, if you start, you're starting in the edge of the train piece. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh shit! Let's get through. God, this is a big squad. I know. <laughs> That's how I was running those Japanese. <laughs> so many guys. I'd be trying to get into cover. It'd be like it's hard to get into cover. Yeah. So you don't have any spotters, so I'll just put my order spotter. It's kind of irrelevant, but I'll put him. I'll put him in this dense terrain. So can you set up in a neutral? Uh, this is my deployment zone. Oh, okay. So you're catching the clip in the edge. Yeah, it goes there. to here. So I'm just just enough so I can don't have to move. I can actually I'm in it so I can see through it. Okay. It's probably a moot point, but okay. come there. We still need uh, police of guys. What's that? No. So we're ready to start turn one. So I do put all my reserves in the bag. Uh, okay. That way I can still have them. I just, none of these guys can come in until so turn two. two three, four. Okay, so I got my six. All right, so now we need to check for prep bombardment. And we needed a, on a two plus. On a no. two plus, you get one. So you want to go first? Yeah. We'll go same time. Five. I got a cock five. I got a three. So we both get one. Okay. And we, so the way that that works, if you want to, if you want to grab the book, you can. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's, it's in the back by the scenarios. But basically, uh, this doesn't count. I'll do it on mine. So basically, so basically, you just nominate the unit and you would roll a dice. Anything but a six is whatever it said, it's pinned, so it'd be two pins. If you roll a six, it's an actual hit. It's two pins, but it's a plus four hit. I go right here. Yep. Okay. So you want me to start on you first? Yeah, sure. Oh, you got the little pin things. The little pin yep, markers. pin markers. Yes. Yeah. I don't have Soviets, but I have tons. Use whichever. Uh, didn't you say the guy that makes these has got a new style out, some little skulls and that stands. Yeah, uh, I have sent, he sent me a few of those, uh, like this. I actually went to his website and he doesn't have them up yet. He's got well, these and then he's got, uh, he's doing some other 3D printing stuff. Uh, there's one where you can put some skulls on it. He sent me some stuff, I'm so bad, <laughs> I'm so, not a good, he sent me some stuff, I don't know where it is. Do you have any idea when he was going to have these new ones out for production or uh, well, for sale? Well, I know he had put a message up that he wasn't filling any orders right now because he was retooling his thing. Uh, Rob Prince is his name. He's he's a good guy. I've talked to him on the phone a couple times. I never had an opportunity to meet him in person yet. Because I was going to order some, but then I thought I'd wait to find out when these were coming out so I wasn't just double buying. Yeah, he's got uh, a couple different things coming out, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, so let's do some prep bombardment. Sure. All right, so where do you want me to start? Uh, yeah. I'm to go with this horde bag LNG. Oh, it's a hit, but it's not a big deal. So it's an actual hit, I rolled a six. Oh, that's a six, okay. Yeah. So it's, I believe, two pins and then one hit at plus four. So anything but a one will kill a guy. So one dead dude. Vehicles. I'm just not seeing where it says it kills. Oh, it's, it's right in the six. So if you look at yeah. incoming, mm -hmm. it takes two pins and one automatic hit with a oh, plus three, plus three penetration. Okay. Thus counts as indirect fire. So it's only one guy though. Since it's a squad, there's mm -hmm. it's just one hit at plus three. It's not like a template hit. Okay, so. And I rolled a five, so one guy dies. Okay. He dies. First casualty. And they take pins. what, two? Yeah. Oh. Prep bombardments are most dangerous against small teams and uh, vehicles. Uh, other than that, it's just everybody's going to be taking some pins anyway. Yeah, that's why I want to do uh, incorporate him somewhere. Correct. Yeah, and that's something we were talking about at the beginning of the game, is being able to incorporate a lieutenant into a squad, which we had an interesting discussion on that, but that's not the way it's currently played, although I do like that rule. All right, so the lieutenant, it's whatever it is. Oh, uh, that was close. You know, it takes one pin. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, the big squad. No, it's got nothing. Nothing on them. Okay. It's a uh, medium machine gun. MMG. Oh, a hit. That's actually going to maybe help you because I'm making a small team. Uh, let's see if I kill a guy. I do kill a guy. So two pins and a dead guy. I was kind of hoping that would be okay. I'm a little confused here when you're rolling that second dice. You, yeah. you take that plus three and then add it to the Correct. die roll? Okay. Yep, and I'm just trying to get your value, which is regular, of a four. Okay, so it takes two pin. Okay. One's always fail. And he's killed one one guy. So. Correct. And I have I have some uh, how about we use that? That way we know there's a dead guy. Oh. Because those guys are glued on. Okay. I guess right. we'll go I've got the, two sixes so far. Yeah, burn them all up. So yeah, okay, you can go with the uh submachine gun squad. Submachine gun squad. Two just one pin. One pin. pin. So the train doesn't help you on a prep? Not on a prep. Okay, so, and the tank. Ah, oh, dang. I needed a six there. Uh, get, it's just one pin. I'm looking at down here. Google it. It's an okay. axle. It's, that die, I never wanted a pug, but I have to say, that guy is kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, so, gosh, I got pretty much hit on everybody except the... Well, everybody's going to take pins pretty much. Yeah. And that's usually, in the first turn of a game with prep bombardment, it, you're really torn between, do I rally and clear them off? Mm -hmm. Or do I try to do something with a pin or two? Well, and because all the, pin, all the pin's going to do is it's going to affect your morale, right? Right, so when you go to activate, you have to make a mor you have to make an order check. An order Although, check. Yeah. And then, uh, does it affect firing? I can't it does. Any pins that are still... So when you pass an order check, you automatically remove one. Mm -hmm. Any pins that are still on you when you shoot are minus one. Okay. All right. So now you get to return the favor to me. Chewing on his leg. Yeah. Well, you want to do the uh, infantry there first? Your... Uh, what was this again? Submachine? No. I've got a light machine gun squad. Light machine gun squad, so... All right. So Four. So that's two pins. Two pins. There we go. I guess your gun. Inside there. tank gun. Two. Oh, that should pin. be just yeah one. Okay. Uh, another LMG squad. Okay. Mm, that's one. Just one. Yeah, three, two, okay. and three. One. And then a mortar. Mortar. Just one. Does it? Does your? No, your spotter is actually part of that. Correct. Okay. So, yeah, you got a whole. You know, I've had that. I've had that rule actually. Actually, he's in my deployment zone because normally they don't have to deploy in your deployment zone. Mm -hmm. It's the same order dice, but mm -hmm. however, you should roll for him because it's a sep it counts as separate. Because I have to uh, allocate the order. I very rarely ever move him, but in this scenario, it may happen because say this is still alive at the end of the game, I can move that guy into. You. So go ahead and roll the prep bombardment on him to see he'll have his own separate pin. It normally doesn't affect him. Okay. Oh, a hit! Except in that case. So unless you roll a one, it's gone. Okay. Okay. So, from top. <laughs> so. I don't know if I would. You I, should, I would think he would be part of the. He team he's and, he is, but he's not. So because let's say it's turn five, mm -hmm. and my mortar t if my mortar team dies, he automatically leaves the game. But if my mortar team is still alive and we're on turn five. I could elect to put the order dice on him, and I could say advance him into the neutral zone, and to try to score the one point. If I had two pins on me, I'd have to pass that order check with those two pins. Now, if these guys were firing, even using the spotter's eyeballs, I don't have to pass an order check because it's there. So they do carry separate pins. Okay, so we're done. With that. We're done with that. Right. So it doesn't score you an order dice, though. No. It's just it you got sense. rid of that special ability for the mortar, which is actually kind of handy. Okay. All right, so all the dice are in the bag. We're ready to start. So do we, how do we mark the turn? Do you have a separate? I have a dive? big old, I have a big old dice I usually use for that. Turn one. And uh, 
So we are hidden. So that will, anything within 12 inches is spotted. So I believe me and you are, 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 are within 12. So we're, we're spotted. Uh, your tank is not, darn it. Uh, but the good news is, like my anti-tank, and that's what I'm looking at, it's like, ooh, we both have one pin, right? But we're both hidden. So if you advance, obviously you won't be hidden because you move, and you'll probably move within 12. I don't really have anything to knock out that tank other than that. And it's not, they call it a door knocker for a reason. Yeah, it was only like a 37 millimeter yeah. or something. You like can, uh, late war, you can purchase Stalingrad at 41 ammo, which gives you plus six penetration, but it's only up to 12 inches. So I, I was petitioning Paul Walker, if you're watching, this is your new job. Listen to what I'm saying. Change the rules for anti-tank guns to deploy with the sniper uh, rules. Be Nobody hardly takes anti-tank guns because they're so subject to getting knocked out by mortars and stuff where howitzers are a better value. If you add the value, it's a rule system right in the book with the scout sniper, for the, so you deploy it after everything else has, because that's what a lot of anti-tank gun teams did. They were basically tank snipers. They'd hide it in like a, a, a culvert or somewhere, and cover it with bushes until a tank came down the road and then boom. Well, that would be good for for scenarios where you're setting up with emplacements and you're entrenched. And, right. So if you, you could, know. if you took like a two platoon with two anti tank guns, yeah. and the end of the scenario, you have to deploy all your stuff, and then I get to deploy it like a sniper. I could put it wherever I wanted on the in my deployment zone. That'd be a very handy tool. I think it'd provide a lot of value to anti tank guns, and you get people who would start taking them more often. But I love this model. It's the first model I bought outside of the, the basic set, just because I always enjoy, I really like that model for some reason. That, that looks, little, yeah, it looks cool. So. That little guy. It's one of the first ones I painted, but. All right, so I gotta figure out what I do with my first order dice. I think I'm gonna so, attempt to activate these guys. Oh, so you, you drew then? I drew, yeah, I drew it. Oh, okay. sorry. I'm sorry, I was blabbering while I was playing. Yeah, I didn't notice. So, uh, I'm gonna try to put them in ambush. So I'm hidden, ambush does not eliminate your hidden, so I'm going to try to just get a little bit of an advantage. I normally have a, a 9 morale, minus 1 pin, I need an 8 or less to pass. I pass on a 3, so I, I pass the check, so I do remove my pin. So now I don't have a minus 1 shooting if I would shoot. And, you're in and I'm in ambush. So any movement that uh, happens in front of me, I can trigger and fire at that unit. Uh, this game here, I do hope if they come out with a third edition, uh, if anybody has read this, I really like the ambush rules in this. It allows you to counter charge, it allows you to fire at uh, units not the one that's moving. Me again. Yeah. So here's the rub. If I pass with those guys, I'll still have a pin. I can shoot at the of the MMG team, which you can always go down, and then I'd be on an order dice for that tank to not be a new one. Because it would just fire. So I'm going to try to fire my mortar. I'm going to put a fire order on the mortar. I need an 8 or less to clear that pin. Good. And I'm going to shoot at your. It's only plus 2. You have a 9 armor. I need, a, I need a hit followed by a six. I'm just going to shoot at the machine gun team. So I need a six. At this point, you can elect to go down if you want to. Okay. I got a two. So next turn, if either one of us move, I'll need a five. So I'm just going to put that next to there. And next order, guys. Trying to zero in on you. <laughs> Me, I'll put yours in there, right? Yeah. I only have six. <laughs> oh, that's true. I did have. Eight. Oh, yeah. Eight. Yeah. Okay. I was like nine. No, eight. Uh, I'm going to try to... I'm on a roll here. I'm going to fire order these guys. So, looking for an eight. Eight. Got it. All right. So, I have an LMG and 
four riflemen. One guy is assisting the LMG. I'm going to sh direct it, fire at your MMG team with the gun shield in the soft cover. Now you're not hidden because you're within 12 inches of one of my units. So you can elect to go down before you do measurement. Most likely I'm going to need a three, long range four, soft cover five at the moment. Yeah, oh no, you're actually a small team now. Yeah, because team now. So, so you're a six. Guy. You're definitely a six. Yeah. No, I'm not going to go down. Okay. So. so let's see if the rifles are in range. Rifle range is 24, so they're good. Are you going to the... Just go to the base, to the front of the base. Oh. Or actually the gun. Uh, teams, you go to the center of the gun. So that's 24 inches from my farthest guy. Now the LMG is 18. Let's check that a little more thoroughly. Is the LMG looking for, trying to get a short range shot? Looks like it's gonna be right about there. I think so. All right, so the LMG normally needs a three. Uh, small team four, soft cover five. So fives for the LMG. And it'll be long range for the rifles, so it'll be sixes. Did we do that right? Three, long range four, small team five, soft cover six. So fives and sixes. So you need, so you get how many, you get what, four or five rolls of the machine gun, right? Yeah, so I've got the German LMGs, are, are, they get the buzz saw, so they get five shots. Okay. So you get five, so at, you get five at five. Five at five and four at six. So the uh, LMG will be white. Chill. Stink. Mm. So, so I got the LMGs were, the three. LMG was on fire and none of the rifles hit. Yeah, that three hits right there. So now we roll for damage. So, correct? Yep, correct. So you're normally a, a four because you're regular. You do have a gun shield on that, so you're a five. Okay, so I so. need five to cause a casualty. And I got one on a six. So the gun is basically... No, it's not dead. No, I do. I did roll an exceptional chance. So I can't pick the MMG guy. Because I would, if I rolled another six, I could have chose. So you're down to... You have another dead guy. Oh, so now he would... If I wanted to fire, it would be at a minus one. Correct. Okay. But, and also, you have... You're down to your last man. Uh, oh, so, I do so you're going to have to do a morale check. And you take one more pin from the hit I just put on you. Okay, so yeah, that would be three then for pins now. Correct. And he's regular, so it's morale. Correct. Eight. Nine. Base nine. Okay, so nine. Yeah. So it would be a... He's got to do a six. Correct. Yeah. So i got to do a six or less. Yep. And you are Soviets, so if you fail, you get a reroll. Mm -hmm. So Which is six or less? Uh, no. Okay. So, so he's got a roll so special rule. Get to reroll. And you passed. Oh, wow. All right. That's an awesome rule. And yeah. so many times, I, Soviet players, I play against them, and they'll be in mid game and they'll forget it. You know? And I'll be like, oh, you get a reroll. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a great rule. It counts for any infantry team. Okay, I wonder if he's going to be able to do anything now. But. He's still alive though. Yeah. So, I mean, even if he rallies on his turn. Well, he soaked up a lot of fire from me too. And he can just sit and crank out shots. I mean, it's funny. I mean, didn't score a point. He stays alive, rallies, sprays a few shots. And end of the turn, he moves six inches and scores three points. I mean, I've seen I've seen stuff like that where you like you thought you had a kid. Worst case, I'm gonna take. I have to take other turns to try to shoot him off. Right. So I see what you got. That guy's activated. Your yep. Your guns on ambush. Okay. Now with the vehicle, mm -hmm. he can fire at multiple targets correct. with different weapon systems. Correct. So he's got a whole mount MMG, and he's got the tank gun with a coax MMG. I know for sure. Yeah. So. So he's, with yeah, he's coax, got, you have to choose. Yeah, it's the, either the main gun or correct. The, yeah, right. So he could move. He could either sit still and fire, or he can move and fire, and you can fire those at two separate targets, or you can fire them all at the same target if he wants. Mm -hmm. So with my medium, twelve dudes. That's yeah. a lot of dice. Oh, uh, okay. And the dice stays with them. Yep, they're on a run order. So they're done. All right. 
All right. Yeah, the pin mechanic is something that you'll you get you get a lot of times you'll be torn. It's like, do I try to do something with one pin and pass, or two pins and pass, or do I do I rally it? Because you could at the end of your turn you be you can always leave a, a unit on down and you'll clear D three pins. That's sometimes an option too, especially if you're kind of taking a lot of fire and you're gonna probably just go down anyway on the next turn, you can clear some pins. All right. So it's me, and I need to decide, do I want to, yeah, see that's the, where I'm stuck at. I got two pins in front of a tank with one pin. I try to, if I advance, I don't know if I'll get a very good shot on that squad. But if I fail, I'll just go down, which would kind of suck. But I'd be safe. I'd be kind of safe. We can move into that rough ground. Getting pummeled. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to advance this squad. They're normally a nine. I have two pins. It'd be a seven. Ah. Mm. So they just go down. That kind of sucks. I was, I was mm -hmm. gonna move into there. Since it's rough, it's not a building, I can just fire <coughs> everybody out. You probably only have the soft cover because of the firing from here to there. But I'd, I'd still be carrying a pin out you of move. You'd only be firing with two guys though, right? No, because that's, that's not a building, that's a just rubble. So you basically it's just the train feature. So you'd be... So this is rubble and then that's rubble. Correct. Okay. That's rubble. The only thing that's a building is that and that. Okay. So I wouldn't get the... The extra plus one uh, to, to kill me, but you have hard cover. But it's a moot point because I just go down. And uh, everything else I have is in reserve. So, okay, well, I'll go ahead and give some orders here then. Um, they can come here. in starting next trip. Okay, so officer, and he is a uh, regular, so it's nine. Minus one, eight, but he, he also gets his own bonus. Correct. So he goes back up to a nine. So I'm going to order him to, if I if I give him a run, he doesn't have to move the full. No, he doesn't okay. have to All move right. the full. All right. The other, I mean, you could also, and obviously we're just learning. I mm -hmm. mean, you could advance into a position where you can affect your machine gun team and subsequently both those teams. You know, I'm writing the machine gun team off at this point. Uh. So. <laughs> I mean, with one guy, there's no way he's going to survive from all the stuff you've got pointed at him. So well, the thing, is, yeah, I'll, but see, if you, I'll shoot on my turn, and that's going to be his big. I would run. rally that on your turn. If it rallies, then on starting the next turn, you could always go down. You're minus two to be hit. Small team down, soft cover, or with no pins. With no pins, though, yeah. So you would have been testing me on an eight because you'd right. still take the minus one for the last man. Okay, I am going to... So we've got an SMG squad and a tank. So tanks move. Let me check. They do nine on Correct. the advance, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm with it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> They're the Soviets, so... Oh, I'm giving my God. tank an advance, and that goes okay, from... You do need to pass an order oh, check, because you have sorry. one pin, and I'm hoping you fail. And that's an eight or less, right? Because you know, Yep, correct. You got it. Got so it. remove the pin. Okay. See, the two pins, I always say this all the time, is two pins is the critical. If you can get two pins on your opponent, because even if they pass, they're still shooting with the one they're carrying. Mm -hmm. Having one pin on something is not that great. Two yeah. pins is a big deal. So from movement, if I remember correctly, is it, is it from the front of the model? Correct. So up to nine. Yep. Okay, and so you can make one turn with a track. Oh, I'm not doing that. So. Okay. Okay. So. So if I'm seeing. Well, that's one way to protect your MMG team is screen yeah. of the tank. <laughs> And that would put me. I'm gonna activate my ambush. Oh, I figured you would. So there's that and that. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, you do your ambush. Yep. I have to. Tr I have to trigger that in your move before you would declare. What's that? Off. 
Oh, that the Soviet that died? I can't believe I didn't break him. I stepped on it, rolled under my foot. Uh, the plastics are actually pretty well, darn durable. Uh, you know what? My goal when I went to Adepticon was not to break any Japanese bayonets because they have so many. I, I did it. I didn't break any. Okay, so. All right, so I'm going to fire. Normally I'm a three. Let's check range just so, so I wasn't quite unhidden. I wasn't spotted, but I am now because I'm firing. But I have a 20, I'm obviously short. I have a 48 inch range, 24 inch short. So I, sw I switch this ambush order to a fire order. Because the, the nice thing I like about ambush for tank guns is if you fire at me, I can switch an ambush to a down order. I do that a lot with my howitzer. Okay, so I need a three. Got a five, so I got a hit. So the way that that works on vehicles is I have a plus four penetration. You have a nine front armor. I need a five to match. I need a six to penetrate. That's normally cocked. I play pretty much. Everything. I got a match. Okay. Actually, I do have a uh, dice thing I got from. The snafu uh, guys give me this really nice dice tray. Maybe that's why we should use dice trays. All right, so I got a match. Uh, so it's a D6 minus three. So a two. So I think I mobilized you. Is that for? That's for the damage result. And which one are we looking at? For chart here? The vehicle damage chart. Damage results on vehicles. I rolled a five, but it's minus three because I only matched you. So because of two, it's immobilized. Add one additional pin marker to the vehicle. Cannot move for the rest of the game. Place a suitable marker token on the vehicle to show this. If the vehicle has already taken action this turn, flip the order dice to down to indicate that it has been brought to a halt. If further immobilized result, suffer the crew abandon the vehicle and consider knocked out. You want to read that? You read that last part to me again? Uh, if I get another immobilized result, then you're destroyed. So now I actually go down. Correct. Oh, that just blows. Yeah, it does blow. <laughs> that was a fucking luck shot. Yeah, yeah, that was lucky, so. That was a luck shot. Thanks to the cocked one. So you take two pins as no, well. It was only, I thought it was one, one for the original hit and an additional one for the immobilized result. Oh, okay. But you're still there. That was a fluke shot, I have to say. You kind of did drive right into the teeth of it, but I, I expected well, to get a pin on you, but not penetrate. No. Well, like I said, it was a 37 millimeter, so I wasn't too worried yeah. about it. Okay, so I got my SMG squad. Well, I kind of shot that plane to hell, so... Well, the good news is you're in my deployment zone. Okay, so okay, so I have to roll. They've got one pin on them. Okay. So, so for eight. Eight. Ooh, eight. Got it. Okay. It's a good yeah play because I can't get over this obstacle. In a, a year from now, I'll be more. I'll be more. Uh, KG and less helpful, but <laughs> I give I, I like to give advice in learning games mm -hmm. just because it, I try to think if I was using them that's I think a good play mm -hmm. because it's the end of the turn you're not getting shot at on the next turn you you would you have your order dice you could always go down yeah. down in a building even if I fired a one inch template at you mm -hmm. you could go down and you count that so you I'd be hitting you on a five. If I did hit you, it would have the hits of a D3. So it's not dangerous. Okay. The advantage is, I have a truck and stuff that's going to come in. Let's say I drive in here. You can pop out with shit tons of submachine gun rounds. You know what yeah. I mean? Or you can run this way. Or you can well, run like I said, I'm trying to push door. these guys this way. There's no sense of going here. And right. I was trying to think, well, how can I get... I, that's, I, think, I guess I didn't even you know, with realizing the building. Right, I, I think that's that, a so. good play. It's kind of like building hopping. You can move, run into the building on the next turn, run out. Because you can advance out or run out of a building. Okay. Well, 
that was my last one, so. All right, so it'd be turn two. Oh, oh man. Bro, this thing. Sure. Well, the big one was hitting that and mobilizing that tank. That was actually very, well, yeah, very helpful. Well, yeah, I was just going to come out and hammer you, but if you can make it here. Okay, so first one is you. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and... Sheesh. I'm gonna go ahead and fire at that tank again. Try to put a third pin on. See, the the catch is, you may rally, because I've got two pins on you now. But I'm gonna try to hit you. So I'm looking for a three to hit. Six. I'm looking for a five to match. Uh, no. So it's just one pin. So you just keep hitting me like that, and then. Yeah, I'll make you have to maybe rally as opposed to shoot. Yeah. Or shoot at. Crappy make. effectiveness. Yeah. I was almost going to run this officer that way. I should have. Well, you still got your whole turn. Well, it's... I mean, I've already used my anti-tank asset, so you're alive. You know you're going to be alive to the end of the turn. Okay, next one, me. So... That's what I like... What I really enjoy about bolt acting. It's hard to to stress it until you play until you've played about ten games. The nuances of every turn. If you've played other game systems. If it was I do all my stuff, it's not so much fun. What starts off as super important at the beginning of the turn, all of a sudden, well, I didn't knock the tank out. Now all of a sudden, the dy dynamics change as to what's important. There's nothing that can hurt the tank now. You know. So you trying to do something with it at the beginning of the turn, if you would have got the first order dice, isn't really, that, you know, it constantly makes you think every turn, at mid-turn. So light cover, rough ground, which Correct. means you can only advance. Or advance. Okay, I'm going to give a, well, they're going to have to roll, because they got two pins. Yeah, those are the cats that failed last time. Yeah. Okay, so, but I'm going to give them an advance order. Yeah, I'm sucking down these beers like they're nicking. Yeah, well, gaming will do that to you. <laughs> That's why I don't normally drink when I game. Yeah, but so, not a tournament. Well, I do, actually. But. Okay, so we've got, uh, he needs a seven. Uh, an officer yep. bonus, so i got to get eight or eight or less. There, good go. Okay, you so. Drop one. Drop one pin. It's the twin LMG squad. That's a lot of firepower. Yeah. And then they can all move up to six, correct? Correct. Yeah. On an advance. And do you measure from the first front guy or the back guy? What I generally do is I move my front guys first, okay. and then I just fill the guys in. As long as nobody moves more than six, you're fine. Okay. And generally, even at uh, U.S. Nationals tournaments, you measure the front guys the farthest, and everybody's fine with everything after. Oh, so... Okay, there's... That would be his loader. So, but in this case, if I'm doing this, I would probably... You're saying it wouldn't matter? It doesn't. Once you move the closest guys uh, as far as they can go, and then the, the back guys just fill in, it's fine. Good that's gonna do me, huh? Let's see here. Yeah, the only considerations you want to do is like, where are your LMGs? You know. Yeah, I know that's what I'm looking at yep, here. So. Right there in the and that's the loader, loader. Yep. Rifle dude. And truck him over there. So, okay, so they had an advance order, one pin. So now with advance order, they can fire. Correct. Correct. So. Um, well, I'm going to try to put down some fire on your uh, LMG team over there. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. That's rifles. That's going to be way outside of rifle range. They only have a 24. Okay. The LMGs, LMGs have a 36. Okay, that'll reach 36, I think. So. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to do that. All right. So normally a three. You move four. You have a pin five. Probably long range, and I'm definitely in soft cover. So either way, 
So, so I'm now going to go down and we'll go ahead and check range. Because you have to declare that before you check range. So I'm going to stay up for it. Okay. So range to the LMGs, they're in range for sure. They're at long though, because 18's right there. Yeah. Your rifles are in range, because even that, those back guys are good. They're all up to these front guys. So you're going to have eight shots for the LMGs and three extra rifles. Okay, so, and I'm assuming I need sixes. Yeah, normally you need three. Uh, move three, four, four five, pin five, soft cover six, six, and long range seven. So you need seven. super sixes. And I'm firing into you. And yeah, even if it was tens. It so would, in other words, uh, so I need a six. This is for the LMGs. Six followed by a six. Right, so LMGs. Is this just the LMGs? Yes. Okay. So, so there's one possible. One. And then I had, what did I say, three rifles? Three rifles. Okay, so three rifles. Nothing. So okay. So you need another six. Let's see. Come on. Nope. One. All right. But you're moving your way up into a firing position. Yep. So I'll try to rally the tank. Not a bad move. So. He does a smart play. Okay, Just so he's uh, nine. You always test on your base. Oh, okay. You don't count. Nope. Oh, okay. That's uh, that's why rallies. It, it, it kind of you spend a turn doing it. I, I've seen people fail it, but it's a pretty safe okay, play. So Clear the pins. It's annoying to your opponent because then it's like, damn it, because then he's a machine gun nest with no pins on him. Right. So okay, nine or less. Ah, oh, jeez, really? <laughs> so now he's back to down. Yeah, man. that sucks. Which basically does nothing. Yeah. Okay. That that was actually pretty important. Yeah. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, it was. So. Okay. They must be sitting in there drinking vodka <laughs> or something. And <laughs> They're trying to figure out what happened. One year. track. Mm. Yeah. Now here's because I got reserves I can try to bring in, but I don't know where to go with them honestly. After mm -hmm. your uh, order. Okay. Uh, my losers here. I'm gonna try to. God, they still have two pins. So. Now that your tank's gone. Yeah. I think. I mean, you need to come around that corner. A lot of shots. I'm in the best position. Those guys are gonna. Well, fuck it. I'll try to. Uh, yeah, that's fuck it. We'll go advance these guys. Nine, eight, seven. Fuck. Hmm. The two people we want to get moving <laughs> still decide to sit there. It's a dick. All right, so down with the losers. I'm gonna go uh, mortar shot. So I haven't moved. You haven't moved. I was firing at your MMG team, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. so, so looking for a five. five. Okay. Oh, four. So I'm in a four next turn. See what I'm saying? He's uh, he's on borrowed time. <laughs> Either way you look at it. <laughs> hey, it's taking fire. Still alive. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. You again. So we know, I'm just going to, well, you got those guys in that. Okay, you're some shooting. So, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a fire order here. I have an LMG. We already know the ranges because you fired at me. So I'm going to fire back. I 24 inches, though. I'm only going to have my front row in. So I've got an LMG and two rifles. One, two, three, four. So why can't you fire your back row? Is They're it? outside of range. Oh, okay. I could do an advance and move up, but I didn't want the minus one, so I figured I'd just shoot where I'm at. So I have five for the LMG and the two rifles. So normally a three, long range four, soft cover five. All right. So they're both at long range and they're both soft cover. So I'm going for fives. I got a hit with a rifle and one hit with the LMG. And a killing on fours. 
one dead. I do have a possible exceptional. Nope. That was so, just for your LMG. That was for everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so I rolled well, a separate color. So. Okay. So one dead and a ten. And you can choose. I can't remember. Who did I denote as a squad leader here? Uh, oh, it was the, I think the guy yeah. with the thing, so. All right, well, I'll go ahead and take him in. All right, and one more pin. These pins. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, okay. Bring him or just from reserve. Door. I could put him down, or I can try to bring him in from reserve. Uh, when, you say him, when you say put him down, mom you said to come get you. Yeah, I'll just take it and put it down over. I know. I said I'll be right up. Oh, but mom's gonna turn the light off, shut the door, and then we're gonna be stuck in the room forever. All right, let me make this check. Go up there. I'll be right up there. No, I'm, I'm staying down here until you come. <laughs> I love this camera. Are you making a video? I am making a video. Oh, did I interrupt? Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, so I've got, I've got my lieutenant and that squad in the truck. So if I make an order check for the truck and I fail, <laughs> they're all going to just be mm -hmm. stuck. But I, oh, when you say stuck, that's just until... Until next turn. Next turn, yeah. Next turn, yeah. Uh, and that's a squad of what in there? Just that's a Volks, Volks, Volks gonna use. Yeah. Five assault rifles. They're all inexperienced with mixed power. Yeah. But I don't know where I want them at the moment, honestly. So I can't drive through, wheel can't drive over rough ground. So I don't have a path that way. I don't really want to drive in front of a tank, even a tank that just failed the motor chair. That is a very good spot to be in for, uh, for my tank. Yeah. I mean, I could go this way. And then end up maybe fighting those guys. Wait, that's a to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this uh, rough ground patch with no path through you kind of screws me up. Alright, I'm going to test the truck on an advance. On a run order. So if I run it, I can't get anything out of it. Just turn. Two. Okay, we're still on turn two. So. It's it's an inexperienced truck, so its leadership is normally eight. It's minus one for a reserve check, so seven. I do have a plus one lieutenant in it, so back to eight. This is to bring them on. This is to bring it on. That's a cocked four. There we go. Eight. So pass. Thanks to the lieutenant encouraging the driver. <laughs> go that way. So I set a run order. So a run order, I can move double speed, I can move 24 inches with one turn for a real vehicle. <laughs> I'm just going to... Range on submachine guns is 12 inches. Well, that's what I thought. No move and fire penalty, though. What's that? No move and fire penalty, though. So they can move and fire with no penalty for moving. Hmm. I guess it'll be an advance order because I'm going into rough okay. terrain, so... So they can still move up to six inches into Correct. this yep. rough stuff. They can come out that window or the door. So from this window here, I guess is how that would From here. Or I mean from the door here. Or here. They can come out the window too. Oh. Okay. And if I understand correctly, then this dense terrain blocks line of sight as long as you're not within two inches of the edge. If you're in it, you can be seen and see out. If you stay behind it, you cannot be seen. So no matter how far the distance is, you can still see through it. Correct. If you're in it, you can mm -hmm. see it. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. I thought there was something if you weren't at least within two inches of the edge, you couldn't see. That would be just for the minus one to be hit, or minus one for shooting out of it. Twelve of anything, but I can try it. I mean, I got nothing to lose. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, I'll see if I can catch anybody okay. over here. So, um, couple of shots. Yeah. Well, it really looks like about the only guy I can get is your actual light machine gunner. 
Yeah, you only need to get to one guy. Yeah. Oh. Yep. You don't need to get to anybody else. You just need to get to one. So are well, they all? I was, I was thinking about for lines of, line of sight. Would that matter? You've got all lines of sight. Now, what you'll do as far as the cover, you're going to have the majority of my squad just soft cover, probably for these four guys. Mm -hmm. These guys will have probably hard cover because of that stone wall. Okay. So you're going to have a couple different shots. Well, okay. So in this case, what I... So you have I'm these four guys. These four guys. So you have eight dice looking at no movement penalty because you're submachine guns. So normally a three. You have long range four. You have soft cover, whether it's the one I'm in or this here. Five. So fives. So that's not that bad of a shot. Eight Actually, shots needing five. Actually, no. And you're going to have four shots needing okay. super sixes. Okay. Well, we'll resolve the other ones here first. No, so. sixes needing six. Well, we'll do these first. Yeah. Needing so, five. Okay, so these need five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so. Machine guns are nice. Well, not real great there. Right, well, got a couple two, hits. Two. All important pin. Okay. And so. you've got... Four so they, shots. So they take a pin. Yeah, right from definitely take a pin. So you've got four shots, normally a three, uh, long range four, hardcover six. Okay. And it's just one pin. Right. God, wow. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's a total of four hits. All right, then you're killing those guys on a four up. And I can roll just. Just throw them all. Yep, so nobody has any different. Okay. Oof. Look at you. So three, three chances for an exceptional damage. Oh, okay. So I need sixes again. So you've killed three, but if you get another six, you can be the one who chooses. Okay. All right. Nope. nope. Okay. Really so I will choose Schmope. Schmope and Schmope. So basically that's going to leave you your machine gun. LMG, a loader, and an NCO. And the NCO, so the guys that matter. Yes. <laughs> But now, do you take a pin for each No, nope, just the one pin, but three dead dudes. But I do have to take a morale check. That's 50%. Because it's 50%. Yeah, okay. So normally I'm a nine. I have one pin, eight. Woohoo! Hmm. Got it. So I'm still in the fight. So if you would have failed it. I would have just disappeared. Split off the board, yep. <clears throat> wow. Hmm. Okay. Um, a lot of shots. Some machine gun squad. Yeah. And with no movement penalty, you know, you can get some pretty decent, even with cover and stuff at long range. Mm -hmm. Throw enough dice at something, you're going to get some hits. Yeah. So, okay. Next one. You? Well, I think I'm going to try to put a little damage on that squad. I'm going to try to bring my Kubel wagon. Normally a nine. Reserve check is minus one, so look for an eight. Oh, ten. Damn it. Missed it. Goes down. Yep. Okay. That sucked. I was hoping to get an MMG on you with you your soft bring, cover and movement. Yeah, because you can bring him in anywhere yeah. with. Yeah. Okay. You again. I don't have anything else to do actually. I have these guys are in a run order. They could, the only thing they can do is rally or go down. I don't have any pins, so I'll just go down with my lieutenant. Okay. So that's that's it for you then, right? Well, I've got one more dice still, oh. which, which is the Wilkshire Grenadier Squad, which they can't really do anything but. That's you. Uh, and they'll just go down. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, so last. How do I have three? One, two. Lieutenant. Squad. Should be just one, two. Oh, the machine gunners. Yeah, Tough. he's still alive. Don't count him out. So he, well, he can't fire anyways. But you know what? Hell, I'll try to rally. Okay. Whatever. If he gets it. Then. Okay. So, and this just goes off his base. Uh, yep. Base morale. We well, ignore uh, pins. No, the pins, but he's down. Down to the last man, so he's minus one. So he'd be at eight. Now this wouldn't, because he's a team, would this come into play with uh, the less than it, 50% or what am I thinking? No, here? you think, well, that's only if you get hit 
and you go to f less than 50 percent okay. so basically for a team weapon it's when you're down to the last guy it's as if you have a dead nco oh okay so, so you're what i say is on the eight or eight or less eight or less okay good Did it, so you so. heal you d3 pins plus one i mean d6 pins plus d6 one. d6 plus one oh good. So okay so four take all the pins off oh wow and okay that's still that's still there because that's just denoting the okay wow well. Now we can almost do something. Now you can at least activate without a check. Yeah. You'll still be minus one shooting because of the okay. last man, but hey, at least you don't yep. have to check. And... Which all he needs to do is like spray a pin on my inner tank gun or something like that. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm gonna run these dudes and, okay. the, and the lieutenant. So you can do an actually, you can do a snap too if you wanted to. <laughs> Same difference. So you put the order dice on the lieutenant, say snap two, you pull the next one out of the bag, and then you go at the same exact time. Yeah. Okay. Now I can't shoot through my own people. Though. You can shoot from your own squad. That doesn't count. Oh, okay. All right. If it was a separate squad, you cannot. Okay. It's basically. The idea is that people are moving and firing at the during the course of movement. But say in this situation, I got guys further back. Okay. Yeah. So they, I couldn't. I'm not going to be able to fire this entire squad. You they're gonna will be, probably they're gonna be since that's building. not a building. It's a rough ground. You'll probably be able to fire them, but they're going to be firing through that hard cover. Okay. That's I guess what I was getting as I'm not either way I'm not gonna be able to fire all of my people at the same. So Yep, definitely not the same. And see see now here this is what I was talking about. Look at this guy right here. This is the Soviet version of a their assault rifle. I can't Oh remember. yeah. Okay. I can't remember what it is, but it's almost like so. there's some machine gun, but it's uh, not quite the Okay, so in this case with these guys, okay. They're going to be back. So if he's back here like this, he can't fire. Correct. Because okay. he's a separate unit. Right. Okay. So actually, he was here like this. And let's uh, slide him over a little bit then. Go like that. So. All right. And they had a. Whatever the hell it is. Can never find that. They had an advance, and he had an advance. Okay, so I think I'm going to put some fire onto whatever this unit is. Here. All right. So, but he can't he can't shoot though because he's behind, technically behind this the lieutenant. Squad. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Can't so, fire so I have what one, two, three, four, five, six, like eight. Eight guys. So I don't have I I have a I have a six man squad. Mm -hmm. I don't have more than 50% in cover from those guys, from those eight, because mm -hmm. this is the hinge pin guy. Right. So it's going to be no cover at all and for these guys. You're going to be have probably a close range. You're going to have probably six at point blank. Or, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to have multiple different shots on this one. Yeah. So, so grab six okay, real quick. They're going to okay. be normally a three. Okay. Move, Move four. four. They are inexperienced, so five, five minus. but point blank, four. So okay, you have so six four. shots needing fours. Okay, and the officer has nothing to do with Nothing to do with so. so for Same. fours. Yep, because mm -hmm. yep. yep. inexperienced move, but point blank. Oh! Well. Ha! 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 All of them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So then you're going to have two guys, okay. they're not at point blank, so they're going to be normally a three, move four, uh, inexperience five. five, so two, so two five. on five, Ooh. and you're going to have one, two, three, three. at the four. hard cover, there's four back there, four, so you're going to have move, inexperience, hard cover, they're going to be supers. Okay, you get two more, two more of your whites, or does it matter? Yep, okay, whatever so, you want to do. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. And so they would have... Because they're normally a three, they move four, four. and they experience five, okay. hard cover seven. Oh, I'm also down. So that was minus two to your shooting. So it's good that you missed with all those anyway. Because I'm down. So these even these guys were mm -hmm. hitting on fours, they would have been sixes. 
because I'm down. It's minus two to be hit on sixes. But you missed anyway. So I missed all of these. Yeah, you missed even more than normal. Oh, I'm trying to roll higher. Yeah. Oh, hell, I was thinking those were all hits. No, those are all misses. Well, that's bad. I need to roll high. Okay, there. No, that's why I was... Uh, <laughs> so you need to roll another six with that one, though, because that's a super. So no hits. Wow. Okay, here I was... Oh, thinking, you thought you had hits. I was thinking, let's see, was that four or less? Yeah, okay. Was oh, higher. Oh, you want that. high. You want high. The so, only thing you want low for is morale yeah, checks. Yeah, I know. I forgot. I got all excited thinking. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, because like, those squad. first six guys, and they're normally three, move four, inexperienced five, and then they're point blank four. However, I was also down. It would have been sixes. Right. Which so. isn't a bad shot. I mean, it's a free shot. Move up Down gives you two? Two. It's very powerful. In first edition, it was minus one. In second edition, it's minus two. I honestly have, and again, Paul Walker, if you're listening, remember we talked about Adepticon, within point blank range, down should not be minus two, should only be minus one. Or give point blank uh, higher, like plus two to hit. I've had guys in a field, like three inches away from me, trying to shoot at them, it's minus three. It's like ridiculous. You know, movement, they're like two inches away from me, you're trying to shoot them, you can't hit them. All right, so. so there was only one, wasn't there? Huh? No, I got a six. Did you yeah, but you, those guys needed a super. Oh, okay. Uh, and you know what I mean when I say super, right? Yeah. Okay. okay so. Other game systems, like uh, Warhammer Fantasy, would be a six followed by a four if you needed a seven, but this in bolt action is yeah. pretty unmerciful. So this is only turn three because we are going super slow. But are you in any time restraint? Because I have nothing going on. <laughs> this is my quarter after twenty after nine. Now yeah. yeah. I'm right here. I'm a night owl, so and I have nothing. I don't have to work tomorrow uh, until uh, nine o'clock at night. So throw my dice. One, All right, so this should start getting interesting. Yeah, yeah, that didn't work out quite. One, two, three, four, four five, six. That's what I have, six? No, seven, because I wish that would have came in. I thought you had eight. I do have eight. Oh, right here, the mortar. Okay. So eight. So bolt action, from all my experience, turns one and two are like setups for turns four and five, usually. Three is kind of a interesting turn, because that's why I really like, because right now it's like, I'm sure you're kind of thinking, if I get the first order dice, what should I do? Well, you're gonna, I'm going to get hammered here. I don't know. By what? I mean... Well, these guys are basically... But you're not, you, but you haven't gone. So you could always go down. So no matter, even if I go to shoot at you, these guys I'd have to pass an order check, which they failed for two turns. I have an LMG over here, which is in a shit spot, so I'd want to try to advance it. Mm. If I go with these guys, I'm going to come out into the... Thing, but you, I have to move and. Well, that's that's a lot of submachine guns there. It's a lot of assault rifles, assault but they're rifles. inexperienced. And if you go down, I'm hitting you like on sixes. It's yeah. not horrible. No, with these guys. The, a big part of bolt action is, if you haven't gone yet, mm -hmm. and you still have that order dice where you can go down. It's when you get caught flat-footed on a move. Like if I would have brought this. Kubel wagon in and hit you with five MMGs with just soft cover and the move, it might have hurt a little bit. But now, I don't want to do that right away because you could go down and then wait for the Nick. Oops, me. So, what do I want to do? I guess you're going to have to decide now. Well, and that's, the, that's, the, that's an interesting part of it because if I come in and shoot at you, I could try to, try to goad you into going down. Yeah. But if you don't and I don't hurt you, then you can just move out and SMG the shit balls out of my thing. Because mm -hmm. there's nothing for me to hide behind with a cool wagon over here. Yeah. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll try to pass a fire order with these guys with one pin. I'm going to try to put a pin and maybe do some damage to your SMG squad. I do have an LMG still. Yeah. So that's... nine, looking for eight. Uh, so they go back down. Now. They are down though, so that will protect them a little bit, but that gives you free that, ring to that's basically. Still just, a lot of firepower. I, <laughs> Especially with only m the majority at soft cover. I was hoping to put some suppression on you. Mm -hmm. 
because I've only been minus one, you know. Uh, maybe you would have been, eh, I don't want to take five shots in the face, I'll go down. But. If I can ever get my tank in action here. Nope, maybe. we do not want that to happen. So, next dice. Oh, you rallied him, didn't you? Oh, no, you no, failed to rally. I failed You it. tried to rally. Yeah. Me. Should I shoot the tank? Hmm. Or should I go out there? Yeah, let's go with the Volks Grenadiers. They're going to come out on an advance. Well, I could do my truck, couldn't I? Get a little closer. Nah, fuck it. We'll just come out. Does it count, uh, say, if you move your truck and then you want to dismount your guys, mm -hmm. how does that count for as far as movements and things? Um, well, when you dismount, you're going to have to advance or run anyway. So you're going to move on the, on an advance. Mm -hmm. But it really doesn't affect you as far as the truck moving. So you just dropped all those guys and ran into the. Yeah, they're advancing. Advanced in. All right. So, advance out. Mm. So I'm normally a three. I am inexperienced, four. You're going to have the soft cover because there's more than two inches. Mm -hmm. So I'm on a five. I believe I'm going to be in short range. I have an 18 inch range, so nine inches would be short. I don't believe I'm in point blank. So normally a three, inexperienced four, move. Or oh, actually, I don't take movement penalty, but I do take uh, soft cover. So normally a three, inexperienced four, soft cover five. The rifles will be on a movement penalty and as well. So the rifles would be on sixes, the assault rifles would be on fives. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it'd be ten shots on five, five shots on six. If you go down, it'll be sevens and sevens. Oh, if I go down, yeah. that gives me a plus two. Yep, it means it's super sixes all across the board. So, it's eight, so you had 10 for 5. Yep. And 5 for 6. I love bolt action, right? It's, isn't that interesting? Doesn't it keep you engaged? Mm, I can yeah. see your wheels turning. Well, I'm trying to think of the possibilities here, and these, these guys are just. Mathematically, ten shots on five. I should probably not. With the, I should probably get three or four hits. Three or four hits. I'll probably kill two guys because you're. All, I'm killing on threes this turn, and then you'll do your green check. If I kill a guy, you'll do a green check. On a five or a six, you become regular. On a one, you take an additional d6 pins. Yeah. But super sixes are suck. I'll have. Uh, 15 shots needing sevens. I probably, if I'm lucky, I'll get one hit. Yeah, I hope it all go down. That's a smart call. Yeah. Uh, because it, you're basically stalling till the next turn. Yeah. And if you pull the first order dice, then you'll do the right back to me. Because mm -hmm. you'd be like, fuck it, I'm gonna shoot. Yeah, because they're in a kind of a world of hurt in a lot of ways there. If they, so, okay. Where's down at? Fifteen shots. Fifteen shots. I won't differentiate because it's all super sixes. So I got one possible. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Uh, and I killed a guy. So actually, that could be all right for you because at least you get your green check out of the way. Okay, so he takes a pin. Take a pin. Kill one man. Um, which one was the? Let's see. Oh, the, oh, he's back here. Yeah. So take off a guy. Okay. 
And if you roll a five or a six, you become a regular. Which makes you yeah, much better. better. Right. Yep, just one duck. So I just don't want a one. That's anything but a one is all right. So, so it's just the, you stay the same. Stay the same. So. And you don't do that check anymore. It's just when no, you take no your longer. first casualty. But what did the full strength? Oh, that was for morale. Was yeah, you get to re yeah. re check uh, any order check that you would fail if you were full strength. So you're not full strength anymore. Mm -hmm. But you only have one pin. Yeah. So I got a, I got kind of a lucky shot. Yeah. Again, you throw enough dice at something. Mm -hmm. That's what I kind of like about those Volks Grenadiers. I'm thinking. Oh, it's me. I'm thinking about taking. Uh, I'm taking one of them in my buggy deer list. I, I almost kind of want to take a second one because you can actually upgrade those extra rifle guys to either more assault rifles or submachine guns. So if you made them submachine guns, that's 20 shots. Even though you're inexperienced, it's a lot of dice. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to do? let's go. Let's go. Me. This is all me. I have to pull my first three order guys out of there. We'll go three up on the tank. Six. It's a hit. I need a five to match. Oh, four. So it's just one pin. So I put a pin on you. No, oh, I, I didn't kill you. It didn't hurt you at all. I think they're just sitting in there, just <laughs> they're watching them, <laughs> checking their watch. That no, nah, they don't need us yet. Well, they didn't even rally last week with me again. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to kill that stupid uh, that uh, MMG team. Looking for a four up now. Damn it! I'm doing the progressive negative ladder. It's like where I need a five, I roll a four. I need a four, I need a three. I roll a three. He needs to go do some Rambo shit now this turn and fucking go off and I'm me. Wow. I think I put my dice back. You did, yeah, <laughs> I just checked. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Sometimes you don't want the dice, you know? Sometimes you kind of want to... Well, it gives you a chance to react to what I've done. Yeah. Hmm. I'd say the first one's probably the most crucial. Often, but it's funny. Often. I mean, because you know, it really kind of turned into a whole lot of nothing. But yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to advance these guys again. Third turn in a row. Looking for a. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to advance my lieutenant out. I'm gonna give him a fucking plus one here. Come out. We'll go, and they'll spray their two assault rifles towards this squad. I don't. No if I'm in range. 18. Out of range. I guess they should have shot over there, but mm -hmm. that was probably not Yeah, that would have. Yeah. Oh well, they're out. And you're on a down, so I'm safe for a turn. Relatively. Me again. Wow. I guess we're gonna just do all me and then all you. So I'm gonna try to advance these guys. Now I'm on a nine, eight, seven, back to an eight because my lieutenant. And I passed on a six. I didn't need the lieutenant. I still carry one of my pins. And I'm gonna just move into this rough ground structure. And I'm gonna shoot. They're down. I'm gonna shoot the squad in the field over there that hasn't done anything yet. So normally I'm at three. I moved four. I have a pin five. You're in soft cover. I'm on a six right now. Uh, barring possible point blank, but I think we're probably just out. If you go down, it'll be seven, so no matter what. No, I'm not going to go down. Okay. So. so, I'm just check one range here. So, I've got one. Oh, darn it. I guess I got probably these two front riflemen at, at point blank. And then the LMG out. So, I'll roll these two rifles with, the, with that. And I've got four, five, six shots. That are not point blank. So normally a three, move four, 
pin marker five, soft cover six, so sixes, and then point blank would be a five for these two rifle shots. Got two LMG hits and then one rifle hit. You beat the odds on that one. I did. So it would be one pin for sure and killing on a four. I got all three dead. Really? With, yep. I got two fours and a six with a possible. Nope. So three dead. Wow. That'll be a check. Yeah. <clears throat> so and you have to decide what you want to take off because you got two LMGs and a. And an NCO, probably. Well. You pull the loader, the SMG can still shoot. But, or the, the LMG can LMG. fire at minus one. At minus one. They can still spray. But you know you're going to have to take a check, so I wouldn't take the NCO. I would no, just take no. the so, loader. So there's one. Probably the two loaders, I would say. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Keep it's, the two LMGs and the NCO. Yeah, it comes down to throwing more dice at a lower chance to hit or keeping one at yeah. full strength. I'd rather throw eight dice yeah. needing. Okay. But let's see if it's a moot decision because you have to take an order check because I killed half. That's a pretty good fucking set of rolling, well, I have to say. Well, yeah, what you, you need, need six to six to hit. hit and fit, well, two fives. And six. Okay. And then so I rolled all three wounds on a 50 50. That was kind of. Okay, so. Um, now they've got to uh, do a morale check. Yep. Yeah. So you're probably within six of your lieutenant. Yeah, he's right here. Yeah, he's so. good. Okay. So you normally nine, be a six, so a seven. Because you know, three pins would be a six, and then your lieutenant plus one to seven, so it's seven rerollable. Because you're okay. Russian. Okay, so seven. Yeah, we want uh, we want low here. <laughs> we want low. On this. Yeah. Good to seven. Go. So they're in the fight. They're still there. All right. Let's see if we can pull a black one, huh? Black. Oh, yeah, finally so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now uh, it's time for your MMG team to shine, man. They can fucking light up those dudes. Mm. Maybe. Or somebody. Yeah. They've only got minus one, right? Well they, got, well, they got three. No, the MMG, I mean. Oh. Let's see. So by chance, if these guys tried to shoot... Mm -hmm. They would need the same you just checked, a seven. And then they would lose one pin, and they'd be firing at minus two for the pins, plus minus uh, for whatever cover and whatnot. And minus one for no loader. Okay, well, yeah, I'm gonna try it. Hell, I'm gonna try it. So, okay. and they, no, they don't get a bonus. They get the plus one lieutenant, so okay. they need a seven. So seven or less. Less, yeah. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a six and, and a uh, one. Oh. So they, they just go down. down. That blows, but okay. So all the rest of them are mine then? Is that... No, I think I saw a truck and a Kubel wagon. That's me. Okay, I wanted to wait on the Kubel wagon. I'll just go down with the truck. I didn't have the points for a machine gun on it. That's you. Okay. Well, let's see what Mr. SMG can do. Or, uh, me and a machine gun. Tank gun. I can't fire at them. Fire into those guys and move into that thing. I think you need sixes. Well, I mean, if you're going off of arcs, though, I mean, yeah. you know, I think you're. I have an arc template. Yeah, I think I think they're out the arc. Really, about the only thing I can try to hit is your mortar or the. You can swivel and fire at minus one, but then you'd be. But he's already at minus yeah. one. Yeah. He's, he's the only dude. Mortar would be probably uh, normally a three, long range four, hardcover six, down to your last man seven. Six is on the anti-tank gun. Yeah, I think I'll just try to. Or, or well, you know. You your know what? tank is kind of giving me cover on the yeah. squad. So, 
So I would have to give him an advance order to pivot to swivel. No, you just do a fire. But uh, the the FAQ they allowed fixed teams to just swivel on their fire order at a minus one. Yeah, well, we'll we'll swivel a bit. That here. way, next turn you'll be. So we'll set. do that. So I'll have. You know, and that's he's just marked his fire then. Yep. Okay. So, so I would have four shots at let's five shots. Why do I get five? It's an MMG. Oh, medium. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I got five shots. Let's see. It's always a base of three. Right? Yep. So three, uh, one guy, four. Mm -hmm. He moved five, mm -hmm. and they're in cover. So that's what six. Yep. What, what's the what's the hard cover? So oh, super. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking for sixes and then sixes. Sixes after that. So one. Okay, you can do it. I don't know. I watched you do it, so <sighs> nope. Okay. That's it for You would have hit the anti tank gun on a six though. Yeah. Yeah. But now you're kinda of positioned to fire either one next turn. Yeah. Black. Okay. And I'm still carrying a pin here, so All right. You got what? One. Yep. So if you would have got that hit there, if you would have got that, that would have actually kind of sucked. Because I failed, what, two checks in a row, needing seven. So you got all uh, riflemen in there? Yeah, uh, there's an LMG right here. Mm, okay. Might just have to assault me next turn. I'm doing a close combat assault. That'll be fun. Yeah. Actually, I was going to do it this turn. You're on a down order already. Not these guys. Oh, your lieutenant? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus he's got the uh, the assault rifle, so that yeah. still counts as uh, tough two fighter. dice. So I'm we would go simo, fighter. though. We'd go simultaneous because yeah. we're defending a obstacle slash terrain piece. Right. So, so that just means we roll. Roll at the exact same time. Roll at the exact same time. So we'd be <clears> both <throat> killing each other on fours. Because you're a regular, I'm a regular. I'd throw six but, dice, and you'd throw two dice, and then you would throw an additional dice if he scored a hit. Because he's a tough fighter. Yeah, but he's rolling two dice for the... No, nope, just rifle. one on the close combat. Yeah, they nerfed that mm -hmm. from version one to two. Oh, okay, so I'm only rolling two dice to your... Two, plus you get to follow up on a success, the, basically the, the submachine gun makes him a tough fighter in close combat. So you get to roll an additional one. So three dice to your... Well, it'd be two dice plus a possible third to my six dice. But it's only if he hits he gets a possible. Correct. Okay. Like when I play Gurkhas mm -hmm. and stuff, I'll, they're, they're, or Commandos, it, it, the first roll is important. If you flub it, then you're screwed. Well, either way, he's in I like that they nerfed it. It used to be I'd take like eight commandos and they'd assault with some machine guns. They'd get 16 attacks or tough fighter. It was ridiculous. I mean, you don't lose. Yeah. Now it's a little more iffy. You know what? I think I'm going to... Let's see, I can't fire through my own people. But you can do an advance and you get a submachine gun. So you yeah, I know. It's, it's, I would give kind me. of scoot over and... Fire needing five fours. Oh, and just fire into them. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Advance, and that would give me. You don't take a movement penalty for the sub. Just make sure you're within six, and you're going to be mm -hmm. hitting on hardcover point blank fours. Two shots on four and one on five. Yeah, well, we'll try it, so I'll give him an advance. Yeah, put that second pin on there. Okay, if I can find the advance. Ambush, fire, advance. Try to whittle him down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that's going to come down to who gets the dice. So. Yeah, but see, you've got one, two, three, four separate units there. Yeah, we'll, we'll go like this then. And, and if I would assault out, it's still simo because I'm leaving rough ground. Okay, so we'll do that. All right. We'll fire into the building, so I'm so going to have... So maybe throw the rifle on a five and... Two shots on a four with the subs. Hit, hit, hit. Mm, okay. Killing on fours. Okay, and you can so you be heroic up. right here. Yeah, it could be. You pick up a pin, right? 
could, if you yeah. kill three guys right oh. now, I can make an order check. Ooh, two guys. But I got a yeah. six, so you get to you get to try to do an exceptional. Oh, yeah, exceptional. So no. Nope. So I'll just take out two riflemen, and it's a second pin. That's a pretty good shot, actually. I mean, that's that's, that's a good way because now I'm down to four guys. Yeah. If you do decide to assault later, it's much more. Well, you know, if they live that long, I mean. <laughs> right, I mean, you've got a 12-man squad that could... Yeah, if they survive here, that's... Yeah, the next dice is going to... Uh, on the next turn will be kind of important. Mm -hmm. I got, I guess, my Kugel wagon, that's all I got left, right? Mm. I was kind of hoping you were going to go with that submachine gun squad. Mm, no. Good. Uh, I'll try to bring my Kugel wagon in. 9-8. He says, fuck off. <laughs> Go down. <laughs> Jeez, piece of shit. I'm horrible about bringing stuff in in the last two years. Okay. Are those uh, guys over there? They're all dead. Them? All that I have left you know, off the board is a Kugel wagon. Well, let's try again to rally. Tank rally. So he needs. Uh, it's just the base. What? When are you ready? Ready for what? To rip our backs. I tucked you in. That's all we're doing for tucking in tonight. Go to bed. Okay, so the regular, that's nine. Yep, and it's just your base. Okay, let's see if we can do it. You can do it! Yay! Yay. So, so D6 D plus one. D6 plus roll one. a good roll. Three. So you're still yeah, gonna have one two, pin. yeah. It's D six plus one, so. Oh, okay. I was thinking. Okay, never mind. So, yep. so right. you still have a pin, which is good for me. I'm glad to see that you weren't completely healed. Yeah, well, close enough. But at least you pass a rally check. <laughs> Finally, yeah. yeah, the submachine gun guys. Okay. The bad news is, What's you're crowding my. Zone, I've got really nothing over in towards your deployment zone other than that squad that's in perilous danger. Mm -hmm. And you got one left? Oh, your submachine gun squad. Mm -hmm. Squad there. No, I am down, so that's yeah. it's helpful. Yeah, it's just So gonna you're gonna negate well, I'm in soft cover, so it's gonna just be a bunch of dice. Let's see. You've got it's like Three guys at point blank. Okay. All right, so you're gonna have six shots. They're gonna be different than everybody else. That's, okay, there's these six. For point blank. So normally you're a three. Uh, that be those guys would be a two. You're, okay, do you want to do them first? Yeah, we'll do them first. So they're two for point blank. They're uh, moved. No, not for subs. <sighs> so uh, soft cover three down five. Five, so I'm looking for five or yep. better. Okay. That's one hit. One, okay. Then you're going to have these two guys that are going to be normally a three. Uh, they're not point blank, so they're going to be, gonna be actually at long range because some machine guns have a 12 inch range. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're fours for the range, down six. Soft cover seven, and you're gonna have this guy firing across this wall, needing a seven as well. Okay, so I'm looking at two. That's what's four. interesting about subs. You go from like really good to hit to really bad to hit. So you're gonna have six shots, needing sevens, needing super sixes. Because these guys are normally a three, long range four, soft cover five, down seven. Okay, so you said six shots? Mm hmm. Maybe six shots for sevens. So you got the one hit, got one which hit. knocks me to two pins for sure. Okay. And then killing on a four up. Okay. Got it. Kill. So. so take off the loader for the LMG. So down to an NCO and a loader. Not enough for a check because there's only one of three. Picking at him though. Picking at him. Yeah, there's not much left. And uh, I believe that's that's it. Huh? The next turn. Will be pretty this bad. is going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's going to come down to. Uh, well, that's what I really like about because it's so interesting because the, right now like this is a big, kind of a big deal. This tank 
dual is kind of a big deal. This is a really big deal. This is a big deal, you know, so it really gets pretty intense right around turn four. Nobody's actually lost an order dice yet, have they? No, no. I'd be the closest one here. He's got yeah, one guy so. left. Oh, you got two there. Yeah, I'm getting uh, pretty thin over there as well. God, we're about equal one losses, too. Yeah, we just kind of lost the uh, extra guy. No, uh, yeah. I knocked that uh, LMG unit down pretty good. All right, okay. turn four. All right. This is going to be the big deciding one right well, here. Well, maybe. Um, um, it could make a difference. It could. Who gets it, so. Well, now it's your choice. Ooh, all right. Let's work again then. So if you pass your order check, mm -hmm. you do put your uh, run order down. Although it's into rough ground, you can go six inches. And you just declare the assault. I'm too close to reactionary fire because we're th within six. So basically, we just grab dice and we throw Simo because I'm defending that rough ground. Mm -hmm. So you would throw whatever dice you have 11 guys. You would throw 11 dice needing fours to kill. I would be able to only throw four dice needing threes to kill. Whoever has the most amount of kills wins the combat. Or if we tie and you wipe me out completely, then I have no models left for the next turn. Mathematically, you will win that. I have seen your rolling today, and <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> all. You know how that can change too. Yes, it is. A huge, uh, if I rolled one kill and you rolled none, I would win the combat. If you and vice versa, close combats are <clears throat> all or nothing. I am going to issue issue and. I'm going to issue an advance order. Okay. With this squad here. So you so make an order check. You're normally at eight, eight, seven, back to an eight. Eight or less. Ah, darn it. Yeah. I was hoping you would fail. <laughs> and you'd be like, ah. Oh. All right, okay. so clear that pin off because you okay. passed. There we go. All right. Free to go. Well, I'm not going to be able to do this, I don't think. Because this lieutenant and his guy are counted as a separate unit, right? Correct. Where's he at? Right here in between what I wanted to do. Oh, well, he's just kind of... Well, yeah, they're, they're sitting like right here. So I was back... Yeah, so back you only here, like six inches on that advance. Yeah, and and was, in the rough ground. You know, I was more probably or less, have a hard time clearing him. Yeah, I was sitting back over here like this, I think. Yeah, he's kind of gumming up the work. Well, uh, do a snap too. Do a snap too. Uh, put the order dice on the lieutenant. Well, yeah. And then I mean, you can pull an extra dice out, and then uh, then you can move the lieutenant independent of the squad. Yeah, that would be the smart thing to do, but that wasn't what I was planning to do. We're we're learning though. I mean, um, this is your first game. Yeah. So. <clears throat> the, the, the best way to do that would be to yeah. put the order dice on the lieutenant because he's free. He's got no pins. So there's okay. no worry that you would fail the order check. Mm -hmm. You know, and then that would kind of jack things up. No, no, I get it what you're saying. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. But I'd stop and I was like, well. Just do that. Just pull another yeah. dice out. Okay. And so now if he had like a, a pin or two on him, then it would be more of a, uh, if the lieutenant had a pin mm -hmm. or two on him, then it would be more of a, a concern because... You would say, I'm going to do order dice on him. Mm -hmm. You would have to pass in order to then go ahead and snap two. And if you failed, your squad would be... See, but this squad, I already rolled, and they passed there. Right, but he can't fail. He has no pins on him, so it's not a big deal. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, oh but yeah. if he did have a pin, then, yeah. Yeah, if he had a pin, then it would be uh, a little bit more, like, concern yeah. that... So he can't fail, he has no pins. So just do that. So Okay, so the, I'll, I'll just reposition so, my guys then. So you can do your lieutenant first, or you can do him second, however you want to do the order. So go ahead and move him, and before you go to the next one, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and do your fire. You can do an advance and shoot. Mm -hmm. you know so I mean? that'd be on these guys. Yep, shuffle back, 
spray that machine gun and the rifle, and then go ahead and do your next spot. Yep, well, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that would we could do. So that. I think they're still at point blank. Yeah, what is it? Uh, six, six inches. inches. Yep. So. so they're normally a three. They're, he doesn't suffer a movement penalty, so he would be normally a two. So he'd be on a four again, and the rifle would be on a five. Hold on before you roll. Because uh, you do have to declare the order. So you're putting that advance on him, right? And you're doing. Well, okay, yeah, it was. And you're putting an advance on him? Yes. Alright. So I will go ahead and go down. Because okay. I'm pretty sure you're just. Since you didn't do a run order to assault me, I think that you're going to probably just shoot me. So uh, I'm going to take a dice out and go down. So, so that four becomes a six, and the rifle becomes a seven. Okay, so two for two for six. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah, I don't want to be knocked down. Let me make sure. Normally it's three, point blank, two, uh, hardcover, four, down, six. That's what I said, Four right? to six, yep. yep. So two for six. Brrr. Nothing. And one and for a super. Okay. Okay. So fired. I'm on a down one. So. Yeah. so now these guys are all gonna run around. Do their kind of. So. No, we're only into turn four, but what do you think so far of bolt action? Oh, that's pretty cool. It's engaging, isn't it? Yeah. It kind of just keeps you. I played other game systems that were fun. I mean, like, oh, it's nice to play a game, but. This one really keeps you engaged. Even in your opponent's turn, you're kind of into it. Oh, yeah. I'm tracking. With the pin mechanic and uh, different things like that, too, it can really kind of... Like, if you would have failed that check, all of a sudden that whole turn where you got the first dice, mm -hmm. all of a sudden would become like, oh, crap. And as you play more too, you'll 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 discover what you enjoy doing more. Like Carlson loves close combat. I don't know why I don't just buy a Gurkha army, you know, or some, or play Japanese. Yeah. Uh, you, you like you may enjoy your submachine guns. You may enjoy different caveats of of a certain army build and and tailor your list well, around that. You do realize why I didn't assault you though. Why you didn't? Why I, didn't. I was surprised you didn't. Well, okay, so you had uh, what four? All right, four at fours, and I had eleven at. You would need fours to hurt me. I would need threes to hurt you. Yeah. Okay, so you would potentially. Okay, I guess if you're looking at the odds, you got a fifty-fifty chance to get four hits, and mine go up to a little bit higher. So by chance, if you would have done better than me, and I would have whiffed a roll like what you, you did. would have whiffed. I would have lost an entire 11-man squad. Correct. Yeah. It would have been a pivotal point. It, that's mm -hmm. Close combats are not forgiving. If you well, have a bad roll, however, on the other hand, the reward, if you rolled well and I rolled poor, you could occupy that hard cover, and I've got a squad sitting out here. Well, I thought that was a ruined building. That's ruined. It's it? hard cover. I didn't say building. Yeah, hard cover. Okay, but it's ruins. So. Yes. So you would be able to occupy that, take this spot, consolidate, and then be in a nice position yeah. to hold that flank. Sure. But then again, that's yeah. a nice safe play as well. It's only turn four. Yeah. Then you're going to be able to shuffle around. If things would have been extreme. I have bad. a lot of I have a lot of firepower in that squad. And that's why I'm trying to yeah. get out of the way because these guys are just going to get mauled. Yeah, especially on threes to kill. Right. You want that? You definitely want hard cover. I'm going to lose some guys next turn already. So okay, well, so they had a. See, you're safer now if you. Even if you don't kill me, because I, you know, I do that all the time, I use other people's units to keep from being shot. Right. Because well, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do is put yeah. some, so basically from an inch away from your model, so right. I'm pretty much, except for maybe these two guys here, you know. Nope, that's a nice little safe cowardly play. I yeah, <laughs> It's about force conservation. So um, I'm going to fire, so I'll have one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, guys, seven. Right? Well, if you want to play it where my guys block line of nope, sight. No, they don't. Units, 
the same squad do not block each other. Is right in the rules. It says, oh. basically, it's, it's accounting for that these guys are moving and firing during their turn. So you don't, you your own unit does not block fire. Oh, okay. I was thinking that my own guys were blocking uh -huh. fire. I would have piled them around a little bit more. No, so. they're fine. They're you can have them however you want. Oh, okay, yep. I just. Nope, your own unit, the same unit itself, does not block it. Okay, so, so I got 11, 11 shots. Two, three, so you're normally a three. You six, are two, inexperienced. Four. I'm in hard cover. So six. I am down. So in so other words, I need eight. But you're point blank seven. Let's make sure that's accurate. Normally a three. Inexperienced four. Movement five. Hard cover seven. Down nine, point blank. Yeah, so you're supers. Yeah. So the movement yeah. affected but, you and being well, experienced affect you. And that's what I was talking about with Paul Walker, if you're listening, <laughs> point blank like that should not be <coughs> my, if you're point blank, it should be a, an additional modifier. Yeah, that was really the only. But you're definitely preserved your unit because yeah. I can't even shoot at you hardly right here. I'd have to come out here. Mm -hmm. Which is gonna... Which you're still gonna have hard cover where you had like basically no... If I would have moved there, you would have had no cover. If I would have failed this somehow and lost my guys... You know. You'd have been down, but that would help you. But yeah. you would be basically standing in the open mm -hmm. and I'd That's be spraying you with a ton of shots. Yeah. Okay, so... Alright, so look for supers. 11 for sixes. And then so I got one and I need one more dice roll. Okay. Okay, so one possible. One possible. Go. Nope. Uh, nope. All right. So that's where when you get that is one one nice thing about close combat. You get a unit like that that's entrenched kind of in a mm -hmm. in a spot. Close combat will get them out. So will flamethrowers, by the way. Oh, don't worry. I've got quite a few of those at home. Did you buy some? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you get an order in? For models that you ordered? Oh yeah. I yeah. ordered from NWS online right after Adepticon. I haven't gotten shit. Yeah. Or you went I, a second there. Well, I, ordered, went a different I did order from them as well. I ordered a couple of different yeah. places. And I think I finally called him or something. And I don't know, something, something about some personal issues, wife, hospital, something mm -hmm. or other. So he was way behind. But still, you know, be, I got my order in from him. Yeah, so. I'm I'm up again. I, I need to get my German stuff in from them. If, I, if not, I'll have to modify my list. I'm planning to play a German last levy extended last levy list mm -hmm. and it's going to be basically all these guys plus three more 10 man squads of basically shop bot type of uh yeah. penal colony guys and two squads of field gendarmes which are one squads on motorcycles and uh, they're basically they have the chain dogs rule so if they start within six inches of a shirker unit they, the unit loses a shirker unit, uh, shirker rule for that turn. That's nice. So it's going to be a horde of infantry and two of these uh, 221s with the Panzer Bush 41, uh, which I love those. A lot of firepower for close range. Um, grab some coffee. Yeah. No, I'm going to kill this fucking tank. You want to go with your bullshit coward moves there? Alright, so I'm hitting you on a three. Which you is just one. wait till this guy unleashes like hell on you. <laughs> yeah, he just it's fired, yeah. shoots everywhere. We're, we think he's you got no ammo. If you would have even took the flamethrower, you'd be like all like, fuck you. You know, Flame. in the Russians, you might not have ammo. So. Yeah, right? So it's just a tank. <clears throat> Alright, so hitting on a three. I got a three. Glancing, I call it glancing. Matching on a five. No, so just yeah, the one. Two damn pins again. Up to two pins. Next dice. <laughs> Man, if I would have took the Stalingrad ammo, I wouldn't have done me any good because it only is effective up to 12 inches. What am I, about 15 or Yeah, somewhere in there. That's like a shot. Is that one of mine? Yeah, we're like at uh, <clears throat> 13 and a half. Uh, yeah. Are you going to unleash the tank? You know what? I am. I'm just kind of, <laughs> I'm tired of coming right now. I'm tired of uh, playing games with you here. I 
think I'm going to rotate this way. What? That's horseshit. Yeah, it is. And I think I'm going to load an HE shell. I'm going to freaking blow the shit out of your officer there. <laughs> and then I'm going to machine gun your, your gun. Okay. Actually, so, you know what? Hell with that. I'm going to machine gun those guys. Okay. So I'm in that arc. So I have a medium machine gun that way. And an HE shot. An HE. Well, pass an order check first. Well, you know, I can, I can do days. that there. You uh, haven't done it yet, so. Doesn't matter. They're Russians. They'll, they'll, figure, <laughs> it, they'll figure it out here eventually, so. All right, so uh, nine, right? Uh, your yeah. lieutenant's a little out of range, right? Yeah, it's probably it's only six inches, right? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So nine, eight, seven. Oh. God, really? The good news is you're immobilized, so you don't back up. Normally, when a tank fails a order check, they back up. I don't know what these guys are doing in there. <laughs> they I really are. don't. <laughs> Uh, did you? Uh, I I I made a video, but I haven't edited it yet from my Adepticon. Man, my my battle with the French, oof, that was awful. I failed so many order checks. Even my opponent was like, "Man, you're taking this pretty well." I'm like, "What are you gonna do?" Sometimes the dice. He goes back to. Doesn't down. matter if he goes down. I mean, it they don't, don't matter. I mean, because down doesn't mean anything to him in this it, case. Only if he would be assaulted by uh, an infantry squad or something, but. Uh, no, nope. he's immobilized anyway, so. I think they're it, sitting in there eating chow or yeah, something. Just. Yeah, yeah. All right, next dice. Tank. Here's a cool wagon. He's going to come in one of these days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, me again. Mm -hmm. All right, so. That did not work out for me very well. I should have put a machine gun on it. I didn't have uh, 500 points. just don't have a lot of points to uh, spread around. So far, my biggest point sink is my Volks around the years, and they haven't uh, fired a single shot. Have no, they? Won't. No, they haven't shot yet. Or did they? Did they? They popped out and shot, and they did the one pin, but they killed one guy. Because you went down. You were down at <coughs> sevens. Yeah, that's. So they picked up seven points. And actually, it was a free squad, so zero points. Now let's go for a rally on them. All right, get those LMGs on the up and running. Our so you ignore pins. Actually, he's and he's plus one because of the lieutenant. So you what testing on a ten? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I'm here. Where are we at? Where are we at? I kill that lieutenant. Should took a sniper. Shot him. Oh, I I got snipers on the list too. Yeah, they're high on my Nine, so they pass. So D6, D6 plus, plus one. one. Got them Four. All right, LMG squad's back in action. Ready to rock and roll. I need to fucking hurt them before they. It's a lot of shots. Eight shots for three dudes. Come out. Actually, nine shots. All right. So, stupid anti tank gun. I need to do some damage to that SMG squad. Me failing those checks really hurt. Mm -hmm. Could have had two rounds of LMG shots on them. <coughs> Even knock them down to four dudes, you know, where they have the potential to cause an order check. But... Uh, actually. Uh, coming from rough ground, you do. Yep, that would be. A... We know we are because we fired at point blank. You shot me. So as long as one of the models. As long as one model, yeah. But you and haven't fired yet. So. I haven't, but I'm so, within six. Because we know when so you so fired, you were at point blank on the last turn. Okay, so if you're within six, or six or within. I can't shoot. Then it goes simultaneous, right? Uh, well, I if I'm outside of six, I would normally be able to reactionary fire. Reaction fire, fire which would Inside six, we're too close. Now, the simo or whatnot depends on where I'm at. Since you're leaving rough ground, mm -hmm. 
and only be able to go six, we would go simul. Mm -hmm. If you were uh, charging me normally here in the open, I w we would actually no. We would you would go first because we're within six. You're within your normal move. I'm not defending an obstacle, and I'm not in rough ground. So only if you have to evade or go around terrain, which would normally, like say you're here, <coughs> and, you you go six, and you had to go around it, even mm -hmm. though you could still make it, I would still go simo because you giving me time. But and if this terrain here was this, then it would be rough ground. It would be simo. But where I'm at right now, mm -hmm. it, you would go first if you assault me. Yeah. Yep. I think I'm going to do that. That's probably a good call. Yeah. That's kind of what I was... Uh, it's better odds than you advancing up and firing and me going down. Well, yeah. I, I didn't want to get stuck in the open when you bring that Kubo Hagen on. True. Yeah, and you'll be like somewhere in this vicinity. So he is given a run order? Or? Yeah, that's what I was hoping to shoot you and get a pin on you. At least make you have to make a fucking check, you know? The last two turns that Kubo Wagon hasn't come in yeah. and he failed his check. Right. Even if I didn't kill a guy, just put a pin on so he said, he, okay, so he gets a run order? Yeah, it'd be a run order, even though you're only going six inches. We know we're in because you fired at me at point blank. So I just put everybody up yep. in contact. And yep. Okay. You can put them along the edge of it, that's fine. Because you're going to get a consolidation if yeah. you win of D6 inches. Okay. Barring a freak roll. Because you go first. Okay. And you have how many guys? Six? Yeah, was it one, two, three, four? No, one, two, three, seven, counting the NCO. Right. Six. This is your. That's mine. This is mine. Oh, six. I must have been counting one of your guys. Okay, so I got. Uh... Alright, so you're killing on fours. Okay, killing on fours, and they count as a tough fighter. Yep, so any successes, are you are able to re-roll. If you don't get two in the first roll, <laughs> I would be surprised. So this counts, the same roll counts the same for the assault rifles. You're only rolling one dice. One dice, on a close combat. Shooting close combat. is two dice. Okay. And it used to be, it used to be two dice per. I like how they changed it. Because <clears throat> You could come out and you can shoot 12 shots. Mm -hmm. I have option to go down. You go into close combat, it's pretty much, here we go, motherfucker. Okay, and four, right? Four, yep. Four okay. Here we go. You got him. Yeah. So I don't get any attacks back. No. You don't have to worry about any additional rolls. And the consolidation means I can move D6 up to. D6 inches. Is it D6? I thought it was six. It's D2. Oh, six. Yep. So roll a D6, yeah. and you can move up to that. So four inches. Okay, so up to four inches. Hmm. Oh, tape. Mm, that's not good. Uh, no, that's probably not good. Not good for me. Mm -hmm. Wiping that squad out. That's kind of my uh, left flank defender. I, I had what, uh, two failed order checks, and my cool wagon hasn't come in. Oh boy, my mortar's in trouble. So he goes to, what was it, oh, run. It yeah, it stays run. on the run. Okay. No casual. All right. Oh man, I need that Kuba wagon to come in now and, and roll well. Okay. Not this time. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to wonder if you, yeah, hell, you're going to get them all here. He's as drunk as your tank crew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what do I got left? I think all I have left is... You got your MMG team, your Valiant MMG team. Yeah, so this should be my... You got a lieutenant left, I think. I know he did. Or no, he, he did, did a snap, snap too, so... Oh, hey, take me a dice out for the squad you just killed. Oh. First I casualty. I don't think I have any dice left, do I? Nope, these are all the rest of my ears. Well, put one on, put them on the order dice. That way we know you scored that one. Okay. So we won't get it mixed up. So, this is my last one. What am I going to do with this MMG here? And then he... Now he can still move, correct? He can move, but he cannot fire if he moves, because he's a fixed team. Mm -hmm. Just spray that anti-tank gun, needing sixes. 
And that's what, f five shots? Yeah. Five shots for six. Because he's normally at three, and he's got down to the last man four, and hard cover six. So if I wanted to rotate or move this guy around a little bit. You can move him like an infantry squad. Mm -hmm. uh, he can advance six inches. He could run normally 12 inches, but he's in rough ground. So it kind of limits you. And to go into ambush, you can't move. You can do that. You can go into ambush. But you can't move, though, can you? Correct. Yeah. Even rotating? No. Nope. That's kind of his move? Yeah. Okay. And the range on... 36 inches, so 18 would be short range. So 36 inches. You have to declare your shot before yeah. you measure. Yeah. I just, I'm pretty sure you're long range to the mortar. Yeah. So basically I'm hitting on sixes, pin be six plus. Six plus there, probably sixes. I'm sure sixes on the anti-tank gun. Uh, probably got a shot on the lieutenant, needing sevens because hard cover, because the majority's behind this crap. And a small team, but no cover. So normally it'd be three, four for the last guy, five, six because of cover, seven because of small team. So either so way, anything super, I shoot Supers, supers, and sixes. Yeah, either way. Or you can just move and go somewhere else. That's kind of what I was at least thinking about, but. Probably almost get up to these boxes, and on the next turn you'd be able to. He'll get mauled by your lieutenant or somebody. <laughs> he could. <laughs> lieutenant could assault him. <laughs> he doesn't have anything to gain by by advancing towards you guys. Theoretical. It's theoretical. Other than getting in my deployment zone for the end of the game, <sighs> you can score three three points per uh, unit in the deployment zone. Let's run five dice. I gotta get my Volkswagen It's moving. I gotta get going. I don't know. I'll go for the. Yeah, I'll go for the AT pin, I guess. Okay. That's probably a good call. Yeah. Just scoring a pin not, on it can make a big difference. It's not the one I wanted to go after, but. What do you want to shoot? Well, I wanted to see if I could take, take care of your mortar, but. You need supers. Yeah, I know. Unless you're within 18, I don't think you are. Yeah, I don't think so either. But you could do it. Five shots. Let's go after the gun. Okay. So five for six. Ooh, nope. Wouldn't matter either way. Nothing. So that's it. And all the rest of them are yours. All right. Okay. Kind of like Alright, let's try to kill that fucking medium machine gun team. <laughs> I'm fucking hitting him on a three now. A three? Or with what? Well, the mortar. Oh, the mortar. You haven't moved? I haven't moved. Three! Ah! <laughs> I called <laughs> it, didn't I? I said the fucking <coughs> reverse ladder. You have done that. Ah, fuck. Every time. That's crazy. Uh, one Jeez. under every time. Oh, what are we going to do? Let's try the Kuba wagon. At least we'll know what we're looking at. Uh, normally a 8, or normally a 9, minus 1 for reserve check. 8. There we go. 6. Mm. We're going to just drive him in. And either we're going to die or you're going to die. Hmm. Normally I'm at 3. Move 4. Soft cover 5. Point blank 4. Six shots. Six shots of four, huh? Yep. Should get three hits. Ooh, I got way more than three. I got five hits. And four is to kill. Oh, that wasn't way bad. I got one kill. Okay, so would they still get a pin? 
Man, that was brutal. I got all those hits, but Almost. only one kill. So no, honestly, I'm surprised you just did that. That was. Oh, but I'm gonna pull the next dice on the next turn. So. Well, yeah, but. I needed to stop them somewhere. Otherwise, they're gonna just assault that and then fucking go out there and shoot them. I don't have anything else. Everything else is up there. Okay, so one, and then I lost a dude here. Let's see. Yeah. He was the squad leader, I think. So this Paco. All right. One of those guys was squad leader. All right, and then I've got a, a lieutenant. I'll go ahead and snap two. Might as well. I'm gonna run the lieutenant to here. I'm gonna advance these guys. Yeah. That's what I was trying to get away from. I'm not gonna have much for shooting. I still have half my squad in the rough ground, but do I have I have a few shots? So I've got Assault rifles, 10 shots on them. I mean, experience, four. Uh, hardcover, six, because the majority of your squad's behind here. And point blank, five. Four, probably three of them. Four of them. All right, so I've got eight shots. Eight shots on five. Because I'm normally a three, inexperienced four. I don't take a movement penalty. Hardcover six, point blank five. So eight shots on five. Two hits. That's not that great. And I have one more submachine gun, or one more assault rifle right here. And probably just one rifle. So I'll roll three dice. And they're normally a three, and experience four, move and or long range. Five, hard, so super. Possible, one possible. No. So I just got the two hits. So there'll be a pin. I'm killing those guys on a three. I got one bet. Okay, so they took one pin. And then they lost a guy, right? Correct. Them, that was them, and uh, my last dice will be the truck. I'll go ahead and turn it, and we'll go eight turn. We'll just drive right up in there. It's, it will die if it's closer to the enemy at the end of the turn, but I'm going to try to warm it up in there. And that's the turn. Important turn. And my last one's over by you. So. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I need my cool wagon to wipe that squad out. Mm -hmm. My order to kill that machine gun team. Uh, we're gonna uh, assault that thing and kill your driver and take the cool wagon and go on a <laughs> rampage. So, <laughs> That's very possible. On a night out with it. It's kind of hard to kill vehicles. I mean, even though it's open top. But, yeah, you'll probably kill it. I'm surprised that thing is counted as a, uh, an armored... It's an armored car. Slot. I don't see that, but... Well, when you put a machine gun on it, you can't transport anybody, so it counts as an armored car. The only rule it does is it doesn't die if it's closer to the enemy at the end of the turn. No. All right. Ready to draw? My turn to draw? All right, here we go. Big gray, black. That's not really uh, that's bullshit. Well, what to do? What to do? It doesn't have wreck either. I want to do everything all at once. I know, right? <laughs> that's usually how it goes. Well, let's try to eliminate that coupon. All right. So now, I could. 
How would how would this work? Theoretically, I could uh, advance well, you, and just fire. You could order. shoot at it. Just do a fire order. You're yeah. already at point blank. Yeah. Uh, how does that work? It's you would hit goal. on a. You would hit on a three because it's point blank soft mm -hmm. cover. Uh, any sixes that you score are the vehicle damage chart, full strength. Okay, so three up will hit. Correct. But I have to get a six to damage it. Mm -hmm. What are the other ones do then? What's like that? say, what's what does a three four, you know, three four? They five just cause do. a pin. If you assault it, you're hitting on a four up. Mm -hmm. And then, so however many you get, then you that's almost like your penetration value. So say you assault and score uh, three four ups. So you'd be hitting on a plus three. Then you roll a d6, add the three, and that would be the damage result chart, just like a like an anti tank oh. gun. Okay. Well, and then since we are at point blank, and, and if I assault, you don't get reactionary. Correct. Fire. And I don't have recce, so yeah. I can't. Back. But Recce only comes into play as long as you haven't done an action. Correct. Choice. If I had Recce and you declared an assault on me, I could bail out. All right. Well, let's... You have to pass an order check. Oh. Either way. Because oh, I, I did shoot you. Yeah. I'm hoping you will fail. Yeah. So i got to get an eight. Correct. These are the stormtroopers here. Oh! Damn it! Exactly! Yep. An eight. They're the stormtroopers. They ain't gonna fail. So. <laughs> Alright, so that's gone. Yep. Alright. So they get a run order, correct? Yep. Are they gonna assault? Yeah. Okay. So I have not moved. You're hitting me on fours. Alright, so. Oh yeah, we're gonna pile around. Yeah. Now, can, could I capture this vehicle? No, that'd be cool though. Well, I know I saw something in there about abandoned yeah, capture, capture yeah. things and stuff like that. Yeah. All so. right, so five dice, new fours. One, two, three. Okay. So you have a plus four penetration. You need a two up to match. Just to Now just roll one dice and add four to it. One dice and add four. So ten. <laughs> so you did a massive damage. So roll two vehicle damage charts, and you want uh, four ups. Okay, so roll two of these, and I want four. I'm sorry. Okay, that's a dead. Uh, that's a mobile or a crew stun and a dead. So you destroyed. Oh, yeah. Huh? yeah, vehicles actually, even unarmored vehicles, got quite a bit stronger in second edition. They're harder to kill, but you. Uh, you knocked it off pretty good. Well, that was some above average rolling, too. Yeah. I would think. I mean, I pretty much. And you get to consolidate D6 inches. Okay, so D6 inches. That was my last hope for the flank. Uh, D6, so two. Okay. You want to go anywhere in particular? You get, this is soft cover, if there's anything that. Uh. You're in my deployment zone. You yeah. just want to scoot behind it? You're already in soft cover anyway. So. Well, why don't I? Why don't you bump me up a little closer to your mortar on the edge, but stay out of that front arc. Actually, he has a minimum range anyways, right? Yeah, 12 inch. So your gun can't touch me without pivoting. It could pivot and fire at minus one. And the same. But thing. you're in soft cover either way. So just base out. Make sure you make sure you maximize your inch. Because I only think he has a one inch template. Who's that? The that. So even if I swivel and fired, I'd only be able to get two guys. Mm. I could assault you with my mortar. There yeah. you go. Good idea. We'll go side. Well, you could, I guess. Huh? <laughs> yeah, we're we're good like that. I suppose. All right, so. let me take the dice out from my cube wagon. This is turn turn five, huh? Yeah. Not going well. Stupid SMG squad. Damn it. Wow. Okay. Yep, now I think it's time to take your advice. Gonna go for it. Do you have a pin on you? Yeah, yeah I got a pin, but I could issue a snap too with this lieutenant, right? Yeah, or you can just go and 
give him the, the lieutenant would give him a plus one either way. Oh, well, no. but that's, that's just for the morale. He wouldn't be participating in the combat. Well, he won't be able to participate in the close combat. You have to do them separate. But so you'd basically issue the orders, however you, and then like say you wanted the lieutenant to run and the other squad to run. Mm -hmm. Then you, whichever one you did first, you'd go ahead and do that and finish it, and then do the. And since we're so close, you wouldn't be able to get the reaction. Correct. Fire me either. Okay. <sighs> Man, God, if I if I whiff this, that would just really suck. If you win it, it's going to be huge. Yeah. yeah. Are free. Crazy. That was your free squad. It didn't cost you nothing. Well, the thing that did cost me a lot is sitting there with yeah. a couple of bunch of drunk crewmen inside, <laughs> just <laughs> passing the bottle around. So. Well, we we knew your list wasn't going to be optimal yeah, for 500 yeah. points. Well, I don't yeah, you know what I'm saying. Kind of, the, the big big hitter I thought I had there hasn't done a damn thing. Yeah, me, so yeah. less than that. Okay, so uh, this will be simultaneous because of rubble, correct? Yep, so go ahead and... Oh, i got to roll my... Do an order check. Yeah, i got to do an let's order see. check. So, um, let's see, they are regularly nine. Regularly inexperienced, so eight. Oh, yeah, eight. So seven, but back up to an eight back because up. of the lieutenant. So, and if I miss this, they just go down. Correct. Yeah. Nope, okay, passed. they made it, so this comes off. Yep. And um, assault. We'll do the assault. So right. I'm, I'm not even going to try to pile those guys. No, there are so. where they need to be. Okay. Here goes so Simo. One, two, I'm throwing three, four, four dice. So I got ten left. Huh? One, two, three, four. That's quite a few. Yep. So I got ten guys, and I'm. What are we? What are, oops, what are we looking for here? If you're looking for fours. And I'm looking for three. Four. Ooh, okay, so. So you need four. Yeah, so I gotta get four or I'm dead. You get four, you kill me anyway. Yeah. Only have four guys. Oh, look at you go. Look at that. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So, but you, I do but kill I love, four. But I lose four and right. I might be doing a. I rolled two sixes. So, no, I could have picked a pencil or something. Four, so this unit has lost. Wow, that was very lucky on my part. So, so yeah, they've lost uh, six now. Well, it's just from the turn. It's just, it's not total. It's just from the turn. So you had, you started with eleven, right? Total, yes. Yeah. So you only lost four. It's not a Oops. Check or okay, so they're all piling in there. Okay, so. So they don't have to. One, two, three, four. They've only got five normal guys left in their NCO. So, so they're six. below. Nope. You started with Ele eleven, and you only lost four. So you should have seven. Six, seven, eight, nine. That was eleven grunts and a NCO. So. Yeah, you had eleven total. Yeah, and I've taken six. Yeah, but it's only from the turn that they're damaged, not from previous turns. Yeah. So they okay. started that turn with 11, now right. they're down to 7 or 6? Or uh, I think they're down to like 5. Or 6. Six, or six or so, eight. yeah, I would have had to kill Uh, So six. they did, because they got hit, do they nope. take a pin? not in close no? combat. Okay. If you win close, no, you don't lose pins if you win. Right. Okay. You used to in used first to. edition. So they're just as they are with a run order. With a run order. Okay, All right, right now me, finally. I'm going to fire this before it dies. I'm going to look for a two up. You don't have to have that machine yeah. gun again? Two up! Wow! Oh, you have done that fuck. every single time. <laughs> oh, wow. Five, five. five turns. Needing a two up. That's horrible. That's ridiculous. I think those mortar guys in these tank room are not a... I haven't repainted them. I've been meaning to repaint them. That must be what's wrong. Black. Mm. Okay. Oof. All right. LT is going to... So, 
if he issues a snap to, then I can activate these guys along with him, correct? Correct. Okay. And... Is that what you want to do? I think that's what I want to do. Oh, I've got my Oops. dice. Oh, I'm okay. giving you the snap to dice. And I'm going to give him an advance. I'll just move. So you're still going to get a cover bonus. Soft cover. Yeah, because you got two here, yeah, two, three, four, five. five. Yeah. These yeah. two would be hard cover, though. That's my lieutenant. Oh, okay. You want to shoot him separately? No, I'll go after the, okay. the squad of guys. So, okay. Um, this is going to be weird. So these guys get four shots each, right? Correct. And they are at a, let's see, they moved. Okay, so base of three, right? Mm -hmm. So they moved four. Uh, they're short a guy, five. And then you're in soft, so six. Yep. Okay, so I have, so I have eight for six. Wow, oh, wow. Good. Three. Nice. Okay, so it's three hits. And you have a rifle who can fire from there. Yep. Who's also yeah, you'd be the the NCO? Yeah, the NCO, and I might as well, the lieutenant's firing too, so I guess. Well, do them right. separate, real quick. Oh, okay. Just one squad at a time, so. Two, okay. so nothing. So you got three hits with that squad, mm -hmm. and you're killing on threes, because they're inexperienced. That's a. Wolf's running your squad, they're inexperienced. Oh, so a three, I, I'm looking for a. Th three up. Three up, okay. Two. So two died. Okay. So, so here's what's interesting, because. Depending on how I take off the casualties can depend on how when the lieutenant fires. So mm. I'm gonna take off one in the cover, one out of the cover. And now I have all assault rifles out there, right? So yeah. I'm going to take off the other one. I'm gonna I'm gonna take off I right. Had, I only had two. Oh, two two kills. Yeah, it was two kills. Right. So, I three so I'm still gonna have soft cover for the lieutenant fire. Mm -hmm. However, I'm going to check my green slash mixed quality check. So I'm hoping that you score to upgrade. Yeah, you want to roll high. I want a five or a six, mm -hmm. well, and then I want another five or six. Yeah. I don't like that thing. I, I think I roll better without it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue so far tonight. All right, so a five or a six to go to a regular. Oh, bastard. So you actually. I was hoping to go to a veteran. So what happens if you roll a? You have to get a, if it's a one is the real bad one, isn't it? Yeah, one you take a on the first on the very first roll uh, you take. A, <coughs> D6 additional pins and so go they'll, down. So they'll take a pin from that. So and two dead and, and a pin. Rifle guy missed. Okay, so now I have the. Oops. So I have Lieutenant firing. I was really hoping to go to regular. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Yeah, so. No, so the nice thing is that the Lieutenant's firing a separate dice, a separate order, a separate unit. If you hit another hit, give him another uh, pin, an additional pin. Okay, and his range is. So um, he's going to be. Long range. We go base to yeah. up seven inches. But he doesn't take a movement penalty, so because uh, he's submachine okay, gun. So seven inches. So is so that the submachine gun will be at long. The rifle will be at short. The rifle will take a move. The sub won't. So it's going to be minus one either way. So mm -hmm. normally a three, so it'd be a four, and then a five for the soft cover. Okay, so you can so roll all three at the same time. So They're all three for fives. three for fives. Yeah, because the rifle takes a move. The sub doesn't. Hey, nice. Nada. Okay. So that's those two guys. Damn it, I was hoping to upgrade. Dog hair. All right. Oh, great. So let's see if I can pass a fucking order check. I'm gonna do. I'll do a snap two with my lieutenant. Yeah, you're gonna rip me to shreds here. If I pass an order check, hopefully. So I'm gonna do an advance order on the lieutenant. I mean, I could do an assault. But we go Simon, we'd both be rolling threes to kill each other. I think I'd end up with a, a depleted squad that can't do much. So I'm going to try to do some shooting. So I'm going to try to do an advance with them. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'll do the lieutenant first. He's just going to go like this. And he's going to spray the three-man squad since they're not a small team. And uh, actually, I'll stack them like this. Make sure I stay out of the way. 
So I have two assault rifles. So I'll have four shots. Normally I'm a three. Oh, his helper gets a... Yeah, he's got an assault rifle as well. Uh, and you could do that to your lieutenant if you get more models. You can have them be equipped with whatever you want. Uh, well, submachine gun rifle or pistol. But So uh, normally a three, uh, soft cover four, point blank three. So four shots looking for threes. Yeah, that's going to be ugly. Come on. Oh, damn it. Two hits. Not good. Two hits and killing on fours. Two dead. Uh, well, <laughs> two dead, huh? Yep. So <clears throat> one pin, two dead with a check. So do you want to keep the NCO or do you want to keep an LMG and take the minus one additional for no NCO? He's already in my either. Anything he does is a minus two, so you have four. Sh yeah, four shots at a minus two right off the bat. It'd just be minus one. Well, the LMG. Well, yeah. Well, he's down a loader, and then he'd be short an NCO. So. But you don't take a shooting penalty for NCO. Just leadership. Oh. Well, we'll do that. We'll pull. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll leave a machine gun and. Okay. So now he's going to have to roll anyways to see if he. So well, he's down to his last guy. So. He's not so you're normally nine. You're uh, got a pin for an eight. You're down to NCO seven, but you're back up to an eight because of lieutenant. Hmm. So probably passable, and it's rerollable because you're Russian. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. So. Reroll. Mm -hmm. Got eight. it with an eight against okay. the lieutenant. All right. So my next one. Now I need to pass this order check. And if he would have failed, then he would have broke. Then he ran off. That guy would have died, yeah. Okay. So I have, uh, they're inexperienced, so they're eight, seven, back to an eight because of the lieutenant. Fuck you, fucker. And they're not full strength because you killed two guys. Wow. Suck. Bastard. So they just sat there. Huh? They just go down, yep. Yeah. I think we both had some pretty bad. <laughs> That's what so the pin pins are like. Well, the pin wouldn't have made a difference with that roll though. Hell, you had an eleven. No, if I that one pin though makes me check, you know. Oh, it's right, like right. Yeah. screws you your whole day up. You got another? Jeez. What do you got? A tank or a yeah. MMG team that won't die? I've got yeah these grunts here, them the MMG and the tank. Well, oh, they didn't go this. Yeah, they did the dice. As well. Oh, okay. It's over here. They they did the assault. Gotcha. You know. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna try to pass. What's he got? Two. I guess I'll try to pass an order check. Third tank. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Is, is that this dice here? Yep. Okay. So he needs a nine, which uh, I have it would be a seven because of the two pins. Unless you're gonna rally. No. Oh, so he needs a seven now, huh? Yep. All right, hell with it. <laughs> Fubar. <laughs> actually, roll actually roll a, D, roll a D6. On a one or two, it could be a friendly fire. Because there's enemy... One or two, huh? Oh, damn. So it's the five. So he would normally run away, but he's immobilized. But so he's he just stuck, sits so there. he just sits there and goes down again. If you would have rolled a one or two, though, I could choose one of your friendly units within 12 inches of... Of a German unit. <laughs> well, the only the only thing you'd be able to do is I could pick that unit because they're within twelve. I could pick that because they're within twelve. Well, I but you're pick. talking about arcs and facing. He can't right. move. He's immobilized. He's immobilized. So but I would probably still. Could... He's a turret though, so I'd probably pick. Oh, the turret. Yeah, yeah I would yeah, probably okay. pick uh, one shot on them with sure. that with the HE gun, and I would have fired the whole mount on them because they're within twelve inches of them. Yeah, that would have been awesome. <laughs> The tank is a big 200 <laughs> points of just shit. That's why I don't want to run vehicles. Huh? Yeah, that's why I don't want to they're, run vehicles. They're good at, uh, they're really good at a thousand points. Because you can have, it's not like, uh, yeah, if you if you would have knocked out my, if you if I didn't have an anti-tank gun, you would be just running rough shot over me though. So if you would have knocked that out first off, well, if I could roll with the shit, right? It's in the same way that. So, uh, well, I think all I have left is one. So, is this machine gun? 
There you go. Okay. Well, what do I got? Well, I got a truck. Well, did I forget to take one out for something? Uh, Kubel wagon. Kubel wagon's dead. And uh, oh, I got the anti tank gun. Hasn't gone yet. Oh no! Yeah. I'm gonna knock you out. Swarm me a fucking hurting. point. <laughs> I yeah. haven't been able to hit nothing yet. Hurt yeah. anything anyway. Well, you know, I don't know what I can do with the medium machine gun. I guess I can go after your anti tank gun. Yeah, put a pin on it. You need a six. That's what you shot at last time. What was that, five shots? Five shots, looking for a six. Yeah, might as well. I mean, I can't pass order checks for shit, so. Two, three, four, five, seven. Is it super six or just six? Nope, just six. Because you're, you're normally a three, you're down to your last guy, four, four. hardcover six. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have any pins, does he? Nope. There you go. Hey. So, one so hit. it's a pin, oh. and you will kill on a, normally a four up, but I have a gun shield, so a five up. Five up. Nope. nope. Nobody died, but a pin. So my turn, I'll yep. just drive the truck here, because I have to be closer, <laughs> so I'll be one inch away from me, and maybe one inch away from you, but you're not closer than me. So And that doesn't does not have a machine gun on it. No. Right? So it won't run away this turn. It won't mm. die auto die. Right. And then I'll try to fire this. Nine. Looking for an eight. Eight pass. So pass. Kill that tank. Kill that tank. That'd be a, a moral victory, even though I'm... I don't think so. Looking for a three. Hit. Looking for a five. Five. Got a glance. So it's D6 minus three. Ah, oh, one. So it's just a crew stone. You take a pin plus an additional pin and you go to down. Okay, so I take a pin plus an additional one and yep. then what? That's it. And then oh. you would go to down if you hadn't been on a word dice. Okay. Punk! <laughs> He's just plugging away. Just getting some sense knocked into him. That yeah. was it, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah, turn I'm six. Run up and grab a smoke and make the phone call. And yeah. Well, I need a miracle. I was these guys failing really hurt because I was gonna come out here and spray, and then the next turn I'd be able to get in your deployment zone and spray again. But well, now it it's been nothing back there to spray. Well, if they didn't these die. Guys, these guys would have been dead. Or maybe just go up there and shoot the machine gun. Or something, you know, just get in the yeah, deployment you still, zone. You still would have had these guys in your back to worry about, though. I wasn't... I was just trying to get in your deployment zone, but now I won't even be able this, to. This gives you a dice, too, doesn't it? If I can get it in your deployment zone, mm -hmm. I would get three, but I don't think it's going to make it there now. No. Uh, it would have on the turn. If I could have got them out, drove that to there, and the next turn, screen it with them and drive the truck behind them, mm -hmm. Because it, it auto dies if it's closer to the enemy at the end of the turn. Yeah. Um, okay. Now I'm my phone and. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six still? And I've got. Yeah, I haven't lost a complete uh, unit yet. This guy's down to one man, he's down five. to one man. Ish. I've lost three. You're already up three points. You're up three more there. Yeah, it's not good for the Germans. And they need a miracle. So now, if I want to go after your truck here, mm -hmm. is that like you assault and it dies, or how does that work? I mean, uh, it's the same itself. as it's the same as the basically the Kubel wagon. Mm -hmm. It's that open top, soft skin. So it hasn't moved this turn. Mm -hmm. So if you assault it, you'd be hitting on fours, and then anything you hit with, you you roll a. Uh, that's basically the penetration. All you need to do is get a. You six. know, I think I'm going to sit in there and maybe just shoot at you it. You could shoot it. You're hitting it on twos. And any two, any scores or hits you get, you're looking for a six to damage it. If you get a six, you roll on the damage chart. Hmm. Or I could go after your dudes. You got a bunch of guys in a one, two. So you only got four in cover. I have four out, so I should well, see. Oh, that's your lieutenant. That's my lieutenant. Or I could just kind of try to. You rip try up to shoot the lieutenant. I would have six rolls and. Then Small team, point Small. blank, we cancel, hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. Hmm. You're inexperienced, right? Yeah. So hitting on fours. So I'd have six, six for four. You know, yeah, I'll try it. All right. Okay, so I give them a fire order. And I'll just say, so, and they don't right. have any pins or nothing. 
I think so. That's how he says. So I had six, right? Six shots, looking for fours. Ooh. Normally I would go down, but in turn six, uh, I kind of need to try to gamble a little bit. So, yeah. So five hits, killing mm -hmm. on fours. Wow, that was a little above average. Mm -hmm. Killing on fours? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> One. All right, but it's going to force a check because you yeah. kill his buddy. So he normally takes. He, well, he takes a pin, so he's normally nine, goes to eight, and, but he gives himself plus one, so back to nine. Ah! Really? Lieutenant. He surrenders to the fucking inexperienced squad. Wow. Yeah, that wasn't. That wasn't uh, good. I'll take a dice out. Oh, I'm getting murdered. Murdered. Ah. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, that's always that's a, if you would have rolled a bunch of hits and kills, they'd be like, yeah, yeah. But they, yeah, but they have you, yeah to have it go down like that. It's like, yeah. well, when you open fire on me, it, they're all dead. <laughs> just, well, I can only shoot one squad though, well, unfortunately. Well, that and you can go down if you have to. Yeah, but you know, that me failing that last order check yep. was pretty bad. Cause yeah, I'm still gonna kill your tank though. I'm sorry. I'm gonna kill that tank with my. Got those those poor guys. They must be just shoving round after round in there, like fire, poof, and they're hitting. They haven't missed yet. Pink, these guys. Oh. They're like pink, and then they wait, and they see it's the turrets start to move again. Like damn it, another round. Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna issue a snap two with mm -hmm. him. So. Go ahead. He, he, Pull he, he automatically. He has no pin, so he goes. Yeah. So, but they'll have to roll. Right. Okay. So, they would be at. Uh, they were regular, so that's nine. But they're. They have a dead NCO. Dead NCO. And a pin, but then the plus one for the lieutenant. So we go back until we go up to eight then. Yep. Okay. So I need to get a eight or less. Good to so, go. All right. so clears so that, that pin. comes off. That's nice. You got the you got the basically gist of the mechanics down. Kind of. After yeah. one game, I mean, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Well, it's just remembered some of the little mm -hmm. rules and things. So I am going to I'm going to issue a fire order. All right. With them and them. Okay. The so I do the machine gun first. Okay. So that's. No he has three. He has no loader, so four. I still get soft cover, so five. five. So I got four or five. So I'm gonna hit one. So oh, important hit. second pin. Second pin. Killing and on threes, because they're inexperienced. Yeah. Right. Roll another six, you can pick Ooh. off. Oh one. yeah, that's right. Yes. Well, so let's take. Uh, you, you, you can take an NCO. Mm -hmm. I'm the German though, so on a two up, I get to replace him automatically. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, you can just pick off a, an assault rifle. You said on a two up. Yep. That's pretty good odds. I know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just take an assault rifle. Okay. Uh, we'll take one of the guys in the cover here. Oh, nice. That's yeah. a good choice. Very good choice. So assault and rifle, and you killed another one as well, right? No, no, I only had one. You got one, but one hit. Six? And it was a six, and then I re-rolled a six. Nice. And that was with the light yeah, machine Yeah, that's gun, a good so. call. Now, against the lieutenant, I'm not going to have cover. So, uh, I wonder if that would... No, six, it's six inches for point blank, right? Correct. Well, he barely would have been in point blank, but that's moot point. And it doesn't matter. So, uh, so the submachine gun is ranked to 12, so right. six. So he's going to be a long. Right. Okay. But the rifle will be at short. The rifle will be at short, so I guess I'll roll. So, no four. cover now, because uh, you're normally a three. The majority. So the rifle will be three. The two submachine gun shots will be at four. And there are four because they're long range. Correct. Okay, so I'll do the submachine gun. Two hits. There's two. And the rifle, you said he was three, correct? Correct. Okay. Oh, so. Okay. That's three, three hits. hits. And okay. killing on threes. Killing on threes. So there's no modifiers to actually killing. 
Uh, it's all it's all based on the true gun quality. shield and yeah. being in a building. If you're in a building, you get plus one uh, protection and true quality. Like inexperience quality. is three. Correct. Okay, so yeah. Usually I take regulars. These guys are kind of a, one of those quirky special units that's hoping to get a value and mm -hmm. have them upgrade. Okay, so three rolls for three. Three there. kills. So I'll just take these three rifles. So I've got four sub or four assault rifles left, and uh, I was hoping to get a six so I could. It goes possibly. to a third pin though. Oh yeah. Because that's a separate unit shooting. Mm. Okay. But not enough for check because I had seven. You killed three. All right. Come on, dice. Do it here. Okay. Oh. There we go. All right, here's where we're turning the tide, Chris. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mortar shot, firing at that fucking guy. Well, you're gonna hit. <laughs> you couldn't miss this turn. <laughs> well, it's always a two up. Yeah, one's always missed. one's automatic missed. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now that said, I have to get a two up to hurt him. So six. All right. So I killed that guy. Okay, because so. I get plus uh, two penetration, and you're regularly a four. You don't get gun shield from indirect fire. So, okay, so run that by me again now. So, normally I kill him on a three. I have plus oh. two penetration. Okay, so I'm yeah. killing him on anything but one. Well, he's finally. Yeah, finally took off an order dice. Finally got and on. I'm going to win this close combat on a fluke mathematical roll. Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's like very likely to happen. All right, so uh, take an order dice out of the bag oh, uh, for you. So they've gone, they've gone, they've gone. Okay. Let's take one out for the dead MMG team. Yeah. Okay, so. Stick it over here with the dead pile. Okay. All right, turning the tires. Tank's next. Tank's going down next. Yeah, tank's can sh at least shoot around. No, nope, he's gonna do dying something. right now. Oh, hell, I gotta do a rally. Don't yeah, I? you got four pins. I'm gonna kill you. you here we go. Well, Tank dying right now. Fire order. In all reality, I should turn and fire at them, but I can only get two guys, so it's not worth it. Hitting on a three. Hit. Glancing on a five. Glance. Come on. So now on. he takes another. Well, I roll a damage chart minus three, so I'm I'm really looking for a five or a six. Right? Doesn't he take a pin though? From he the does hit? take a okay. pin. So I'm, if I get a five, that'll go to a mobilize. Five. Gotcha. Because five goes minus three goes to two. It's another immobilized result. Two immobilized results means abandoned, so he's, destroyed. So he's done. I killed it. That tank was completely, other than just sitting there and just <laughs> soaking up fire. <laughs> that was crazy. But the sad part is it's too little, too late. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. It's more of a, uh, it's more of a moral. Uh, God, he did not do a darn thing. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out and gets immobilized and just sits there the rest of the game. <laughs> it's more of a moral victory. Uh, All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep calling these out because I called that one. <coughs> yeah, he did. Uh, I don't have anything. Left. Oh, I'm gonna pass an order check. I'm gonna kill your lieutenant on the next one. Here we go. All right. I have to pass an order check. Needing him. Okay, here we go. I'm normally a eight. I'm gonna do an advance. Let's try to get out of the way. Normally an eight, I have three fucking pins. So uh, I'm looking for a five to pass. So you gotta roll five or less. Yeah, okay. that's a big rule. Come on. Oh, six. I saw that one and I was Fuck. like, I don't you like, I don't like my when he said it over there. I can't see it. Uh, can't if see you it. wouldn't have killed my lieutenant, I would have passed. Uh, so they go down. And that's probably gonna be the game. Because if I could have advanced and screened well, the, the truck, I could have got the truck around into the deployment zone. And that would have given you, what, three points? You three said? points for the truck. Uh, it would have picked up another one if they would have maybe killed something. Yeah. But See, I was always still hoping if I keep the tank alive and he could ever fire, he could just rotate around and hit, get your truck out of the way. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. All right. So they just go down. What? Uh -uh. That's, uh, oh, you still got your, no, your mortars. I got uh, nothing left. So these should be mine. Then. I got a truck. All I got, I have oh, a truck, which okay. can't go anywhere. And <laughs> there you go. Just put it down on the truck, because you can't even go anywhere. Okay, and the last, I oh, have two. What haven't I done yet? You got these guys? Yeah. 
And the... Uh, no, they went. They went. They went. Oh, we didn't take one out for the tank, but I just oh, destroyed okay. it. So there's the tank. All right, so... Them? How many guys do you have in that team? Three? Three-man team. I'm regulars, you're regulars. Let's see, it would be Simo because... Be Simo because I'm in that building thing, the rough ground. Yeah. <coughs> or you could just go up and submachine gun spray me. Needing normally a three, hardcover five, point blank four. Yeah, or I could give an advance order and shoot your tank crew from behind. You wouldn't get the advantage of the gun shield. That's correct. And I'm within medium, within... Yep, you could try to pick that off. I think I'll do that. Okay. I'll measure it for you. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, move Six me up. So that, that is still soft cover. It's just well, soft I don't want to go being... all the, I don't want to go all the way. Well, that's just... It doesn't really matter. You're within 12. Well, see, the... I don't want to get in front of your mortar, guys. You can't shoot within 12. They could assault you in any direction. They're well, not going to assault you. We go Simo either way. So if that would get, at least get me up in short range, right? Yep, maybe point blank. Okay, yeah, we'll do that then. I was thinking about cover, but well, there's nothing to matter. worry about. They don't have rifles, and they have a 12-inch minimum range, so they can't fire a mortar within 12. You said they have rifles. No, they? they don't. They don't they have like handgun. We don't have anything. They could, they could assault you, theoretically, but we go yeah. simo. Okay, well we'll do that then. We'll With like bare hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, he uses know. a grenade. Okay. okay, so I have a one, two, three, four, ten. five. So ten eight. shots. Saving Private Ryan where he's hitting the things on the thing and just throwing them. Yeah, pretty much orders. point blank. No movement penalty. So you're looking at soft cover. So fours. So I need a four or better. Uh, actually, threes because uh, point blank. Okay, so three or better. Right? Yeah. Some machine guns are brutal and close. Well, one, two. Let's see, real crappy. So six. All right, and killing on threes. Okay. Mm. Three. I up. mean, killing on fours. I'm sorry. They're regulars. Okay, so four up, right? Yep. Two. Two. So there's one guy left. So that'll be a pin. So eight, and last man seven. So I need to pass a check on a seven. Nope. So. He, he, the last man runs off. Hmm. Well, I'd run off too if I had a screen <laughs> Yeah. Siberian. I'll get help. Machine gunners coming my way. Yeah. All yeah. right. That's the yeah. turn. So you want to roll a d6? I don't think uh, an extra turn is going to help me any, but uh, mm -hmm. on a four up, it'll go to a turn seven. Okay. Nope. Nope. So. Good game. Oh, yeah. Good game. Thank you. So to actually calculate it, you scored uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I think that's it. So you got eight. I got two, three, four. Because they are in the neutral. So eight to four. Wait, so a major win. Now he's in my deployment zone. Right. So eight to four, major win for the Russians. Yeah, well done. No, this so machine gun squad bat. I, I mean, how, uh, there's a comedy of errors because I only had one pin on me for two turns. Mm -hmm. This failed to come in for two turns. All I needed to do was get like two or three casualties on it and a couple pins to make it kind of like keeping him off the to board. keep it back in those trees <clears> as opposed <throat> to just running over the top of me. The original, it, the original intent was to bring this tank out, more or less, be able to cover this whole area, and then I was going to bring the submachine gun squad in behind them and use the tank as cover. Right, with that's these a good guys kind of holding this this flank over here. Yeah, whether or not they did much other than yeah. just keep it at bay. But yeah, yeah, I was pushing all my grunts and stuff this way initially, and then. That's what I like about bolt action because your your, you know, your plans change as the mm -hmm. course of battle. Uh, Changes because, yeah, your tank didn't do anything, oh, but then the <laughs> was soaking up fires all day. Uh, I was happy to knock it out <laughs> yeah. eventually. What did you kill it with? My well, I just wiped it out. This, the this mortar. light anti tank gun, you hit like yeah. every turn, every turn I hit it, and I never passed 
Yeah, orders. He, he even tried to do a rally and failed an order. Failed there. rally, failed my orders. He just sat there and didn't do it. I didn't even fire around with him. <laughs> he moves out first turn <laughs> and gets hit because he put his guy on ambush, which I figured he would. But then he got a pretty good roll and he immobilized me and I got mm -hmm. stuck there and it hasn't done anything since. No, I did get a fluke roll first turn. I, I <clears throat> To hit him wasn't hard. I only needed a three. Yeah. But to hurt him, I needed at least a five. And I rolled a five. Mm -hmm. And then I rolled a five on that which is minus three, so it got a two, which is immobilized. So you that was how. track off, or? Yep, blew his track off, basically. Yep. And then you actually killed him. Well, five turns later, I finally, I hit him every turn. Mm -hmm. but With the uh, same gun? With the same gun, but it finally, and the way I killed him was I got another glance and rolled another five, so two immobilized is equal to destroyed. They abandoned it, so. But it doesn't matter about points. It, matters about the victory the scenario that's what i like about bolt action it's all about the scenario yeah. yeah you know so you can have a scenario where your army <coughs> could be great at or you can have a scenario where you're like Ooh, this is a tough one so yeah. you have to play but this he scenario. spent five turns shooting one object mm -hmm. which i was fine with that 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 thing only cost me 50 points yeah. that cost him almost 200, 200. Almost about yeah. 200 points yeah. and i told him before the game started my goal was to just stall it for three turns yeah. i didn't want him driving up to point blank range and double MMGing my yeah. infantry squads. Mm -hmm. Well, what, happened, what about all the guys sitting in the building there? They are they hostages. Yeah, yeah, they no, they close combated uh, one of my that OMG was that squads. was my free well, yeah, you, squad. you would pin that down with that gun. Well, that was the goal. You could switch and shot the guys in the building. I couldn't ignore the tank though. I had to keep yeah. pressing it because he rallied at one turn. Well, you got mortar. Well, the <laughs> Mortar. So the mortar. So the very first turn, I have an LMG squad that ended up going in there. Shoots the M, the HMG or the MMG team and kills two of the three guys. Mm. And he has like two pins on him, a pin on him plus last guy. So the next several turns, I'm firing my mortar at it. At first turn, I need a six, and I roll a five. Next yeah. turn, I need a five, I roll a four. Next turn, at, at exact order, yeah. I need a four, and I roll a three. I told him, I said, I'm going to do that, reverse ladder. So next turn I need a 3, I rolled a 2. Then you need a 2, I rolled a 1. Jesus. So That's all nice. 5 turns. And I finally, the last turn 6, I rolled a... Uh, I actually rolled a 6, too. Yeah. When I needed a 1, anything but a 1. The entire game, his mortar sat there trying to kill this one yeah. guy. So if I could have knocked that out early... Then the mortar definitely could have maybe Shifted tried fire. to target and hit something else. Or mm -hmm. and the nice thing about it is because then I put the burden on you. I'm gonna fire at your SMG squad. I need a six this turn. You say I'm not going down. Okay, I miss. On the next turn, I'm gonna fire at the SMG squad. You're like fuck. Well, because it would have played out, I would have kept pushing forward. Do I want to go down? Do I, I want to risk kept, it? I would have kept pushing forward until eventually I got out of your arc, hopefully. Yeah. That's, that was the intent, anyways. Yeah. And then my Kuba wagon didn't come in until turn, what, four? Yeah, so, it's pretty late. Yeah. So, so really, your rolling has been sucky. My leadership rolls have been pretty bad. Uh, my uh, massive uh, squad of, of uh, assault rifles got, what, one shot off? And then uh, it was went pretty down. brutal when you did fire. Yeah, I think your lieutenant and uh, helper guy did quite a bit. Of yeah, but they I've sacrificed got, their lives. Well, this is my LMG squad. Yeah, right? they survived. One guy left, and, that's and they didn't do much the whole game, but they survived. You know, that's important. Yeah. And you, the Soviet rule helped you twice. It helped you with the MMG team, and then it helped you with the LMG team. They plinked away a little bit, but they didn't really do anything very... Well, sometimes it's just absorbing fire and yeah. allowing and not dying is good. Mm -hmm. Well, you if know. I hadn't pulled back with that one squad, you would have just that, whipped them Yeah, up that was whole, a good move. You, you, you scuttled away. <laughs> you scuttled yeah. away. Yeah. There's no retreating. It's just withdrawing to a yeah, better cover. Yeah, because you don't want to take... Stalin doesn't allow retreating. We didn't retreat. So well, it's just like, repositioning to a that's better like, uh, uh, Hitler. tactical Hitler, advantage. Not one step back. What was that one movie? There's a movie that came out not that long ago. But it's about Russian.